It's a beautiful morning here in sunny San Diego. It's actually kind of cold. <coughs> uh, also, you know, I got coronavirus two weeks ago, but we're all good now. Unconfirmed. <laughs> I'm not taking one of those swabs up the nose, you know? Uh, we had to wait for Alex to wake up. We didn't want to stream before Alex woke up because, you know, we get loud on the stream. Mm, uh, my neck hurts, too. I'm going to try to have good posture during today's stream. Posture is important. Uh, let's wait for a few people to get in here. Then we have a bit of housekeeping announcements. Hi, hello, good morning. We were gonna stream yesterday, but I got distracted. Check out my beautiful comma hoodie. One of these can be yours for just $89. How much are the hoodies? Yo, this is a merch plug right here. Right here on the comma I shop. Uh, where's the merch store? Oh, merch shop, yeah. Oh, 89, wow. Wow, that's a, that's a good price, guys. You should buy a comma hoodie right now. Get your merch, get your Maverick merchandise here, copyright. Um, don't break copyright, don't break trademark, that's right, follow laws. Uh, I'm a reformed cyber criminal. As you can see right here on my, my Instagram, see I'm a reformed cyber criminal. Um, also, recently I broke 30,000 followers, so you know what that means? I've heard rumors that that's the threshold when they can no longer ignore your, your pleas for a blue check mark. Please, please, I want a blue check mark. Um, have you seen this? Oh yes, TensorFlow Mac OS, yes, okay. So I actually, I signed up for a Hacker News account this morning and I responded to something about that. That's using ML Compute. Uh, ML Compute only uses the CPU and GPU. It does not use the A&E. Uh, OS HN, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, so everybody make sure, go on my, my Instagram, it's just Instagram.com slash George Hots. Uh, if you guys could follow me, uh, I'd be very happy. We gotta get that follower number up. Um, also, the other thing, and part of the reason I'm doing this stream today, I'm like, okay, Tiny Grad, how seriously should we take Tiny Grad, right? Have you guys seen the stars on Tiny Grad? 2800 we are on the pink macbook air right now macbook air m1 yeah well you know i'm not a 16 year old girl i'm not going to get that many followers but um make no make sure guys follow me on instagram uh, 8 gigs of RAM is kind of okay. I mean, it's, it's ARM 64 RAM. Do the Nintendo hire me problem. What, 37 what? 30,100. 30, Guys, let's get my, we got that hype train going. Let's everybody follow me on Instagram right now. Hit that Instagram follow. Um, I'll only go on Joe Rogan. I'm, one of my goals in life is to hang out with Taylor Swift. Uh, and like really like, you know, really, really like, 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 like hang out, you know, just think, you know, I was just thinking, man, of how hard life must be for Taylor Swift, you know, and I'd like to, I'd like to talk about that. No, I'm not on Reddit. Guys, if there's a comment on the internet, I didn't write it. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, but like I know, like I've met Lana Del Rey before. I know that girl, but Taylor Swift, man, you know, just what a what a what a whirlwind of life. We could play Long Live, but it's copyrighted, so we can't. I'm doing Evan Okoda. Did badly last night. I didn't, I didn't get any points last night. I was upset. Um, too fast, and I was on this computer, not my work computer. I should put a master's. Yeah, <laughs> fuck scooter brawn. <laughs> Promoting fake pandemic shit is a ban from this channel. That's right. Promoting real pandemic shit is a ban from this channel. That's right. We don't take sides here except ban. Politics equals ban. Um, is it more secure or less secure? 
Um, yeah. Asking for beginner advice. Oh, you guys are new to this stream. If I ever give you beginner advice, it's bad. Uh, just do the opposite. And then that's probably bad too, because you know the opposite of something bad isn't always something good. Like think about, you know, what's the opposite of like like some disgusting ass candy. Like, you know, I love what you know, like I really wanted to like Skittles. You know, I think I think Skittles the musical was um the best Super Bowl ad of all time. I just I'm gonna let you finish, but Skittles had the best Super Bowl ad of all time and it was a musical. Uh, come on, can we, can we get that up to 30.2k? How many, come on, we got, we got a hype train going. Let's, let's, let's subscribe, let's follow on Instagram. We could do it. Uh, did DeepMind release a paper? Is there a paper? If there's no paper, fuck them. When they released the paper, AlphaFold 2 archive. No, there's no paper. This isn't a paper. This is a tweet. Nature published a comment. They published a blog post. Are, are you scientists or are you hype people? Like, fuck that. I like, you know, I like DeepMind. I like DeepMind better than OpenAI, but like, don't do this. Right? This is not a paper. What do they say about the paper? Alongside working on a peer-reviewed paper. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will look into this once. Until we've published a paper on this work, please cite this. Um, no, but do you guys know what I mean? Like, it, it's commercial hype if they don't publish a paper. It's not, it's not, it's not like contributing to the field of science. Uh, and yeah, we're going to publish, when it's done, we'll publish the open pilot paper. Um, when you're getting your hammer, hammer's not real. Hammer, the, you guys, you know, if, if you read actually hammer, it says the following, you know, we're only seeking applications for one role and it's founder. And the cool thing about founder is you can just go start hammer. Uh, I'll sell you the trademark for cheap. Hammer, what are you looking at? Hammer, yo, cause they, you know why I named it hammer? Because of the nothing nowhere song, which I would play, but then, you know, we guys get copyrighted and we can't play any music. We can only play copyright free music. You can write the blog post too, but if you don't write the paper, don't claim you're doing science, claim you're doing PR, right? Like fuck off with that shit. The first alpha fold had a paper and I read it. Um, I don't know who Hikaro is. Wait, oh, is there actually a paper? Um, oh God, sorry. Yeah, this is the first paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I read this. Like you can't have it both ways, though. Either you're a scientist or you're a PR guy. What happened to Pixie Tech? That's gone, too. You know, not all companies can be as successful as Comma. Some, some... That's right, and I've already had two fail. Well, Hammer didn't fail. Hammer never got started. Pixie Tech failed. Pixie Tech went out of business very fast. Um, we looked into the, you know, after trying to use Unity to code something, I realized what the problem with Pixie Tech was. <laughs> no, though, like, uh, um, yeah. AR will be there. What does David say? Seven years? Oh, has it been saying seven years for seven years? Guys, just so, just so we never get it twisted, my prediction for level five self-driving is the end of the decade. Before the end of the decade. You know, they did the moon launch in 69. 
uh, I think 2029, you're going to have a level five self-driving car. That's my prediction, and I'm sticking to it. And I've always stuck to the exact same date for the singularity, and it's 2038, the Unix timestamp rollover. So those are my two predictions. One's, one is, uh, is nine years away, and one is 18 years away, and you guys can hold me to those predictions. My stream Advent of Code? Nah, I don't really want to stream Advent of Code this year. I used to stream at night when I lived in Luma, but I don't live in Luma anymore. All right, let's start by fixing these bugs. So I got Torch to compile for my M1 Mac, but apparently it didn't compile with the profiler. So let's just remove the profile. Level four is not real. There's, there's really like only like, you, you want level four? Ride a monorail, bro. Monorails are level four. Every shit tier monorail at an airport is a level four self-driving car. I don't understand exactly why I'm on Chelsea's iPhone today, but I am, so. My name, it's not small. It changed to Chelsea's iPhone when I was at the coffee shop. No, it just happens. I don't know. What is someone going to steal? They're going to steal my tiny grad code? Who wants to steal the tiny grad code? Bro, you don't even have to steal it. It's free. 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 Test, test, net speed. Um, Tprof. That should fix one of the bugs. And then a view of the leap variable that requires grad is being used in uh, test batch norm 2D. This doesn't require grad. Um, combat, I'm ready for combat. Oh, Sorry, I'm not, I'm not. Um, View of a leap variable that requires grad is being used for an in-place operation. Can I just do that then? We're not streaming, we're not streaming uh, Avenica. All I know is we're not. What? Cannot assign torch float tensor as parameter weight. That doesn't work. A view of a leap variable that requires grad is being used in an in-place operation. But if I go like that, it doesn't work. All right, how do I set the batch norm? Um, oh, maybe if I say requires grad equals False here. No. And with torch dot requires grad false. Torch no grad with. Uh, with torch dot no grad. Okay, well now it just doesn't work, but it almost works. Great, flaky ass test. Good enough. It works 90% of the time, it works the whole, all the time. 
Subscribe to George Hotz. That's right. Thank you, HSN. Not only are you a subscriber, you're a shill for future subscribers. Um, is there a poll of how many people want self-driving cars? Why do you think that matters? Do you think life is a democracy, man? <laughs> oh, we care about what the people want. I don't care. I care about what I want. And, you know, oh, man, oh, I love this, you know. Someday, and this is going to horrify somebody when I say it, like, they're going to be like, why did you do it? And why do you solve self-driving cars? And, you know, you're supposed to give some, like, answer about, like, social good or something or some crap, and I'm just going to look them in the eye, and I'm going to be like, because I can. That's the truth, man. <laughs> ah, hey, North Park, what's up? I don't know who Big Short is. Shorting Tesla, I don't know. Um, what did, what did, I, I think I agree with Elon. Uh, Twitter, Elon, Tesla, stock overvalued. <laughs> Tesla stock price is too high, IMO. I, I agree with Elon. <laughs> Not way too high. Uh, just regular too high, yeah. I think like, like, when it was back down here, it was way too damn low. But like, now that it's up at like, like moon levels, Holy shit, have you seen it's mooned even more? Really? Oh my god. It's now at $600 a share. Yeah, it went up another 50%. Wow, that's insane. That's actually 52%. Oh wow, this is stock price is way too fucking high. <laughs> I think you should just go public. What? You wanna go public? Yo, how much is Comet AI worth? I'm rich as fuck, boys. Just be me, yeah. and if, can we have like diversity for like when I identify as a woman? I'm another board candidate, Georgina Hotz. Yeah, Georgina, man, you know, she identifies as a woman and she's on the board. That's right. Mm. Oh, good, the test pass. Um, I made a change this morning that should make things faster, so uh, I changed this to buffer new from buffer zeros. I'm not exactly sure why it was zeros. GPU speed up, tests work on M1. Uh, uh, we turn the heat on, Alex? It's cold in here. And then the day of the ropes coming to Ford. What? Buy one nest? How much is a nest? I don't know if Google will sell a nest. We'll have to wait till Google uh, gets torn apart in the. Uh... No, well, we'll just Google's gonna get. Uh... Google's gonna get be careful in the uh, Google Cloud. Google Cloud. Yeah, you guys remember Microsoft? Yeah, the Monopoly lawsuit. It's gonna happen, man. I don't remember how that they backed off. Who backed off? The Democrats or the Republicans? They both did? Who's in charge? Who's in charge right now? I don't know. <laughs> Neither of them. <laughs> Who's in charge right now? Nobody knows. The deep state! <laughs> uh, 
Can you identify as an I squared C bus? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, opinion on cybersecurity in 10 years? Guys, I wouldn't know anything about that because only because you're a subscriber I'm answering that. I'm a reformed cyber criminal. That's right. So, so right on my Instagram, you should follow me. Okay. So let's get into it. How many people we got in the stream right now? Oh, I don't know what the deep state likes. Too many? How many? 655. All right, all right. We're ready to get started. So you see this reshape? We're wasting a ton of time in the reshape, and this is actually going to be a pretty big refactor. Um, so the problem is that, yeah, I I'll show you guys the problem. Um, oh, I just, I just, um, the, can we, can we, why is all music copyrighted? I'm going to make copyright illegal in the new regime. Uh, yeah, we're still under a thousand lines. Uh, so, okay. The problem is these, opera these operations that we're passing in to the, uh, this like X and W, they're actually already being called, uh, they're, they're the data. They're not the, the tensor. And the problem with doing this is the reshape op. So if you look at reshape, we actually have to make a copy of the, see like reshape shouldn't make a copy, but this is a big change since the data tensor can't have shape. Um, so we have to remove shape from the data tensor. Like right now we're, when we create these things, we're uh, creating these like, you know, shape and D type here. And we gotta not do that. So let's start with this big ass refactor. Um, tiny grad's a great, it's a great time to jump into tiny grad. Uh, if you've been thinking about joining tiny grad, you should start contributing. We've gotten some great contributions lately. Um, tiny grad has great tests. So uh, if you're worried about breaking stuff, you can just run the tests. Uh, we got some, some, some good pull requests coming in. Test improvements. Tests are super important for a library like tiny grad. Uh, I responded to this issue this morning. It's getting slower, so we're gonna fix all that slowness by making reshape not, by passing in tensors to the, uh, the operations. So, if you look here where we call this, the ops down here. Yeah, do you see, look, we're calling data here. T dot data for T in X. Um, so let's first fix it for the CPU ops. So all the GPU ones are gonna be broken when I do this, but let's go in and do it. We're just going to have to call dot data on them. And we really only want dot data to be callable on yeah. So we're going to make another property here called D type. We're going to make this self dot data dot D type. So here, yeah, that's a oh. Okay, but we want to remove shape and D-type from the uh, CL tensors, basically. The problem with having them there is we can't reshape because there's only one base tensor. We want to separate the storage from the tensor, and the tensor has shape and the storage doesn't. Uh, all right, so let's fix up the ops now. Did I make that change? No, I didn't make the change yet, okay. So right here, we're calling the op. And sorry, it's been a bit since I've really dove into this TensorFlow, uh, this tiny grad code. So take a little bit to get at this speed here. But we want to not call that anymore here, and we're going to call data. So now we're going to check the tests, and they're all going to be broken. All broken. Um, so this is ops here. Shape is still OK to call, but we're going to do x.data, y.data. And we want to create a tensor out of that. 
Uh, oh god, oh, this is a big change. data I have to create it with a shape as well hmm. so the GPU ones are going to have to be created with a shape doing this now? Where do I create tensors? Those are okay. So, self dot d type. Is I really using NP float thirty two as the d type for the for the GPU ones? See, oh, guys, see, we didn't think this through, and now we have to make big changes. Oh. Um. That's just okay. Yeah. Also, wherever we call, we don't have to add shape in yet to the tensor constructor, so let's take that out for now. Sweet. Um, let's actually do something fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to watch the uh, watch get diff. Oh, I wish I had color. Watch dash dash color. No. Oh. oh, go dash dash color always. Wow, somebody else did it with get diff. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. So now you guys can watch as I edit the code. Oh, this is going to be fun. Like, you'll see, watch. If I, if I make a change, like here, I'll put the shape thing back in. If I do that, you'll see it shows up, right? So there's my change there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow, this is this is great stream technology, boys. Um, okay, we actually don't want those things there for shape. Uh, we're gonna say here self dot shape equals self dot data dot shape, and we're gonna say self dot d type equals self dot data dot d type. This is gonna be broken for the GPU for a bit. Um, See now, this is a problem. Well, so we're also gonna, we also recreate the tensor, I believe. So it's not just that change that I made down there. Yeah, okay, so if you see this tensor, this is gonna go as well. Is there a way to say no GPU? Someone did like this mark on test that looked pretty nice. Uh, GPU, tiny guy tensor import GPU. 
Because I really, I just want to fix the CPU tests first. Uh, I guess we'll just hack it for now. So that's going to give no GPU support. And I don't know why we're, we're railing out there, but see, so right here, I guess I could just say this. No, I don't know what we're going to do about this unbroadcast function. Oh, God. I guess we're already calling out the shape. Dot data dot sum. We'll put a tensor around that. That should fix that. But see, it doesn't fix it for this. This is that minus sign there. And I could I could do this. If that works. Why am I getting maximum recursion? Oh, because x times y is now calling mall. And you guys see the problem. How does PyTorch deal with this? I mean, I guess they don't have things for like mall and stuff. Like we don't have a choice but to pass in the tensor. Grad output, that should also be a tensor. Wait, are those first ones passing? Oh, okay, infinite recurrence. Um, making the code so ugly. Mm, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about any of this. So while you're in a function, we definitely don't want the grad to be on. See, the idea is then that like some of these things can implement some of the other of these things, you know? Like, okay, add and stuff are basic. This is a big change. You know what? I might literally just be able to fix this in GPU reshape with a bit of hacks. Let's fix it in GPU reshape. The problem is like our functions that are different from PyTorch, because I know PyTorch actually passes the tensor in. Uh, yeah. Let's see. 
let's let's bring a by Python and let's test. Um, import tiny brad tensor uh, from tiny grad tensor import tensor tensor uh, np dot zeros. Let's just say, actually, you know what? We want those G tensor dot zeros four comma four dot GPU. Tuple object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Oh yeah. Bool object is not callable. It's returning a bool. Oh, dot CUDA. Wow, I forget my own API. Okay. And somehow despite me setting or did I just reset everything? I guess I did. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah. I have this pi open CL buffer object, and that's the one I need to change. Post buff release. I want to make like a fake copy of it that has the same underlying stuff. Dot copy. No attribute copy. Associated mem object. Nothing. Get info. Zero. Invalid value. We could also potentially put a wrapper class around the pi cl buffer. That actually might be a better choice. Try copying the cl mem object. Where is the cl mem object? Why is this frozen? Yeah. Well, let's just let's just read the code. You guys see the problem though? I just created the dot d type and dot shape on the pi open CLCL buffer class. Um, pi open CL buffer. So yeah, either we put a wrapper or CL dot CL. Where's this dot CL? Where's the class for this? Open CL dot CL. Pi bind module 
.cl. And how come there's nothing called buffer? Understand. Where's the class? Oh, that's it? Here we go. Hi, class. There we go. It's right here. Mm, I think a wrapper class might be the right idea. There's no more changes. That shouldn't be that. <coughs> okay. Let's see how we can write. Where do I create CL buffers? In the dot CUDA method? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to, let's put that watch back up. First off, I liked the change where I stopped accessing, I started accessing D-type out here. Um, and then like everywhere we say data.dtype, I mean that one's okay, but like here. We should not be saying self.data.shape, we should be saying self.shape. Here, self dot d type. Now that data stays, obviously. Okay, pretty happy with that. Um, let's see if the tests pass. They do. We should be a lot more careful where we use data. Um, of course, data is actually being passed into the, the other stuff. So, we just have to change the CUDA method. Yeah. Instead of returning a CL buffer, let's create a class called uh, GPU buffer. And we have a constructor here. Which takes in CL buff, buff, shape, D type. Um, well, I can't actually put it there. Uh, actually. Just do this. This is actually going to be a nice helper class. Uh, self.shape equals shape. 
self dot d type equals d type. Um, if host buff not equal is not none. Buffer self dot shape self dot d type self dot data dot ravel. Oh, actually, I don't think I need ravel there. Do I? Where do I want to put ravel? I'll leave it here. That down here by requiring the GPU. This is like a good place to put it. Um, we have some functions in the GPU ops. Uh, this shouldn't be self.data, it should be self.dtype. Zoom this guy out here so we can see more. Okay, now basically those, uh, we have some helper functions in TinyGrad ops GPU, like buffer zeros and buffer like. Uh, we can keep these, but we just change this to like, from tensor, do we actually ever use tensor? No, we don't, but we can import GPU buffer. And like here, when we do buffer like, we say, Actually, when we do buffer new, um, else uh, this. Right? Oh, is CLCTX public? Uh, it is. That's nice. Wait, do we not, does that mean we don't have to pass in CTX here anymore? Well, that's nice. So the context is global. Uh, I mean, that's a later refactor. It's not used, but. So here for buffer new, we can just say GPU buffer. Uh, oh, we don't even need, I can put tuple dot, I can put tuple here, can I? So we can just say GPU buffer shape, comma, np.flow32. And actually we just make np.flow32 the normal one. Oh yeah, saving lines, boys. Look at that. Okay. Um, uh, if we want to do this one now, we can just say return GPU buffer np array dot shape comma host buff equals np array. In fact, we can do better here. Nah, let's not go crazy with that, that's good. Okay, that should fix that. Um, we can remove those CTXs at some point, but let's see if the test pass first. Error constructing tensor with TinyGrad GPU buffer. Ah, that's because, yeah. If GPU end is instance, instead of CL buffer, we pass in GPU buffer here. But this isn't gonna work because now we have that extra dot buff that we have to use when we pass things into the programs. That's okay. In fact, now, bin off actually just is a is a kernel here. But there, there shouldn't be too many of these. Um, we just say dot buff here. Or actually, let's not call it buff. I don't like that name. Let's call it CL. Uh, what are 
X and Y. Okay, now we're getting invalid kernel arguments. That's fine. We've got to fix it in the other ops. So in unary op, we're going to pass in x.cl, ret.cl. Reduce op, dot cl, dot cl. Imp. Yeah, this is a much nicer refactor. Is instance SVM? That's a whole different problem. There's a bug inside PyOpenCL. Reduce op now has one. We have a problem in dot CPU. Oh, in NQ copy. Um, yeah, we don't want to say ret dot. Well, hang on. Ret dot data there is okay, but here we want to say self dot data dot CL. Where do we still have bucks? Um, Ret.mean.backwards, helper test op? No, uh, in fill. Oh. Yeah, here we're calling fill, and we're going to call this with grad output.cl and ret.cl. We still have problems in conv. Good. This is a good refactor. I'm happy with this. Sure, we have problems in dconv too. So if you actually want to pass in the real CL to the function. We can always put a wrapper around the function that takes in GPU buffers. The test pass now. Um, not yet, pad 2D. We should really just put a wrapper around any function we generate with CL build that fixes that. That'd be a nice refactor for later. But I'm okay with it for now. It's not too many line changes. Let's just look at all the CL builds and confirm that we actually put. This is a good test if, if we're missing any tests. Okay, subsample. Yeah, here we go. Ret.cl, input.cl, did we do it in super sample? No, we did not. We broke the tab. Okay, a few errors still. Matt Mall. God, I should have just went through this and just looked. Uh, Input.cl, weight.cl, web.cl. Uh, 
Add 2D is good. Rel you uses unary ops. Fixed conf. Let's fix those things. Fix those. That uses the ops. Still tests failing. None type has no attributes CL. Oh. Oh, input two can be null um, if input two. Uh, is not none else input to. Oh, I'm not happy about that. Okay, cool. Test pass. Let's commit this. We'll see if I broke the uh, the big tests on the push. Oh, don't develop my master like that. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. It's terrible, but not really is, guys. Don't don't do what I say, not what I do. Um, okay. Uh, GPU buffer class. Add GPU buffer class. All right. Let's check for any more instances of dot of data shape. That one's okay, but how about in here? Now those are gonna actually do it, they're not gonna do that. It's used to not passing in, okay. Um, that data shape is fine, that D type is fine. So now we have this GPU buffer class. Oh, we can refactor, we can remove all these CTXs. Uh, buffer underscore. It's kind of ugly that we were passing in the CTX there anyway. And like we did that hack for the CLCTX. We still need it for. I don't know. It's kind of terrible. We'll leave it for now. At least it's confined to Ops GPU. Zoom in more. And you know what will move me down? Oops, not that. Sorry. Sorry for the uh, shaky cam. Why can't I select me? There we go. Put me down there. There we go. That's looking good. Uh, cool. So now that that refactor is done, let's actually use the power of the refactor. I didn't break that, did I? Okay, good. Did inference in 20, uh, 260 milliseconds now, 250 milliseconds. So all these reshapes are about to become no ops by the magic. Yeah. So, copy. Make it work with host buff. Um, is instance instance host buff, comma GPU buffer, then just copy the underlying buffer. Now, 
can reshape, instead of having to do this stupid unary op, I can just say GPU, I did import GPU buffer, right? GPU buffer shape post buff equals X. This unary op can also become a grad output equals GPU buffer in shape, comma host buff equals grad output. Yeah. All right, we get that speed up. Yeah, look at them. Wait, why are the reshapes still taking so long? shouldn't take any time at all. Get rid of this to-do. Um, There's just so many of them. That's just how long Python takes. I don't know. It's faster, definitely. And cleaner. Did I break the tests? Don't know yet. Uh, let's just run that test. Make sure I didn't break anything. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, th this is what reshape should do. Reshape now just makes a copy. Cool. Reshape doesn't copy anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have A&E support. Uh, sort of. We don't have any support in, in TinyGrad yet, but we have, uh, uh, yeah, I made the whole thing work. It's, it's, in, it's committed. Check it out. If you have an M1, uh, you're going to have to, uh, you have to disable, uh, uh, whatever integrity check I disabled. <laughs> That's a pretty clean, so now we're not using the CL buffers directly. Okay, what else did we want to do on today's stream? Oh yeah, memory management. So I wrote this trainer, and I really hope this isn't going to really break anything. It's just going to oom locally. Um, so I wrote this train efficient net. Oh yeah, we're going to get a training on CFAR. Oh, well, that's going to take forever because we got to do GPU equals one, but. So yeah. It gets slower and slower and slower, and I don't actually want to do it, but we'll, we'll run HTOP here. You guys can see it. So my RAM now is at 2.7 gigabytes. Four. Oh. Is it free? Maybe it's free. Either way, we got to deal with memory lifecycle management. I got P, and then do that.
By the way, look at that speed. Those are decent sized batches, I believe. Yeah, you know, we're doing with a batch size of 16, we're finishing a batch in like 300 milliseconds. So we actually are going to be able to use this to train, uh, to train ImageNet. Those are ImageNet size images. Uh, and you know, that's been our goal all along to actually make this thing train ImageNet. TinyGrad is so small, why not rewrite it in an efficient language? Because we love Python. None of the slowness should come from Python, and that's the myth of TensorFlow versus PyTorch. Okay, let's figure out why. I need some food, I need some eggs. The slowness doesn't come from Python, just the crappy code. I agree with that. Um, okay. Model forward tensor image. So let's call the let's Python have destructors. I don't even really know how this works. Well not I've never really dealt with this before. Where's some Chrome? Yeah, here we go. Python destructor. Is this guaranteed to be called? Yeah, okay, good. Clean up. Not all arguments are converted during string formatting, what? What? I have one argument and stupid tuples. You know what? No. No. You get that. Okay, I mean it is deleting stuff. Why is it getting slower? Fast, fast, now it gets slower. Why is it getting slower? What's not getting cleaned up? Maybe just the GC running is taking a long time? All right, let's be very explicit about our deletes. So first, let's put a break here. And now let's put this back in. Exiting. All right, let's write a let's write a minimum example for this. Um, let's write a test. Test GC dot pi. Uh, so one of the other tests, so we know how to copy stuff. Yeah, we need that. We need unit test. This. Let's make a test. Unit test test case test. Um, oh, we could add like some stats for like how many tensors were allocated and shit. Tensor dot zeros. Uh, 
you know, I saw this as a pull request. I'm just going to write it. And you should have updated your pull request if you wanted me to do this. I would have happily done it. Update your pull request. Uh, GPU equals false. Now those methods work. You can pass in GPU. Uh, let's write the same wrapper I wrote in test ops. It's a good wrapper. Uh, GPU equals false. And then we also have your GPU test ops. Test GC GPU. Okay, let's say tensor zero is four comma four. Say A, B. Uh, C equals A times B, C, well, we want to do grads and shit. Now we'll get to grads next. Let's just do that for now. Uh, tensor's not defined because we've got to import tensor. And we'll import GPU as well. Uh, invalid syntax because I wrote crappy code. We Program there, fixed. Okay. Name test ops is not defined. Yeah, no shit, because it should be test GC. Ran zero tests. We have to test GC. So. Okay, I mean, it looks like things get cleaned up. Um, Do grads uh, say c dot mean dot backward. How many tensors does that create? Holy shit, that creates a lot of tensors. And it looks like now it cleans up nothing. Ah. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go to our efficient net thing. And let's just comment out the backward pass for a minute. And see if that still causes a problem. That's a bug. Definitely shouldn't be any NumPy arrays in there. How did this only break recently? Like I was just doing this and it was fine. Dot default GPU if OS get GPU is not none. Let's look and see what else I broke. Oh, I see what I did. So you actually, ooh, this is subtle. The default value for GPU is not false, it's none. And none respects the defaults. So the problem is when I added those zeros functions. See, that's why I always read your diff, you know? We actually want these to say GPU equals none. Yeah, that's some tri-state shit. Love that tri-state.
Right, does this look like advent of code general to you? Is that what you guys are thinking this is? Oh, that GPU equals none stuff broke something for you too. Wait, I didn't push any of that. Did, did I break something else? Actually, did, did the test pass? Oh, sweet. No, 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 the test passed. Okay, so for some reason things get slower. Um, let's, should we just add some global statistics about this stuff? Oh, I don't really like this, but um, tensors outstanding equals zero. Tensors outstanding minus equals one. Tensors outstanding plus equals one. Global. You know what? I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to put it on the tensor class. That's nice. And then we can actually write the GC test. So print tensor dot. Uh, I guess we don't need to say tensors outstanding since it's inside the tensor class. We'll just call it outstanding. Um, and actually, that's a stupid name. Let's call it allocated. Allocated. Beautiful. Tensor dot allocated. Okay, that's zero. Let's look there. Wow, still zero? That doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, oops. Okay. Uh, should we check GPU and CPU differently there? Let's just remove the GPU test for now. So we can't pass it on the CPU. Still 12. Okay. Why doesn't delete work? I did that? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's something. Oh, it's because I was doing backwards. Uh, okay. Let's say CM equals C. You know what? Let's just add mean to this. Oh, and then now there's a hidden tensor there. But it should be, that should, the ref counter should get that right away. Okay, good. Um, so then the test is going to be, do I just use normal asserts in the tests? That's kind of fun. Assert uh, tensor allocated equals equals zero. Now let's do out equals c dot backward. Out. Ah, okay. Test fails now. We're getting somewhere. We got an F, boys. We got an F. If you run the backward pass, even if you delete the output of the backward pass and all the tensors, it doesn't actually go away. So that's some kind of memory. Now, it doesn't exactly, you know, They do eventually get cleaned up, but not till the end. So do we have like a, we probably have a cycle somewhere. Right, because the ref counter is failing. So Python has two things. Python has a GC and a reference counter. Uh, when the reference count gets to zero, uh, the object is deallocated. And this is always correct, but you know, if you have two objects in a loop which can no longer be accessed, that's why you need a GC. But if you're doing a good job and you're writing good Python code, you should actually never trigger the GC. Um, you know, we turn off the GC and a lot of the open pilot code, because why do we want that? Uh, okay. So, problem is that we call backwards. Let's 
see what part of backward is causing the problem. Uh, we do allocate something called grad, but when we delete that, that should get rid of that. Let's comment that out and see if it works. Okay, that works now. Um, we actually create the grads. Okay, there's where it fails. Like just even called deep walk, it fails. Nothing gets deallocated anymore. Because it's in these nodes and visited. So what if I delete visited nodes? Can I fix it? That fixes it, okay. Uh, I just add that down here. Cool. Okay. Passes on the CPU. Let's see if it passes on the GPU. Pass on the GPU too. Great. Um, that was maybe all it took. I'm not exactly sure why after that function returns it thinks it can access them. Oh, because it creates a closure. Mm, don't make closures unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just, what if I pass in visited nodes here? See the closure that it makes? Um, let's actually refactor this a little and say visit it equals set nodes equals that. Uh, so I can still call deep walk self. And now let's return visited comma notes. That should work, right? No, broken. Deeply broken now. Closure. It's making a closure. Hmm. Okay, well, we can delete visited right away, I think. You shouldn't have to use delete if you wrote good Python, which makes me think I wrote something bad. What if I just delete visited? No, you gotta delete nodes too. Yeah, you see how they're getting captured in that closure? Well, actually, no, I know the problem. Um, ah, sorry. Maybe they're still being captured. So let's say visited equals set, nodes equals that. Uh, when we call deep walk, we pass them in. When we return from deep walk, we return them. But let's not create this function in a closure anymore. Let's create this function outside. Visited nodes equals deep walk self. Is that okay? No, that fails. Why? Oh. Maybe you can't do that. Those global objects? Can I have a sign to function called oops? 
There we go. Did I we put that in utils? Yeah, it kind of belongs in denser. Now, let's hope we don't even have to delete them anymore. Yes, got it. Uh, actually, we don't even have to return visited. Visited is just an internal variable. Uh, so all we need here is nodes, and we can just say reverse deep walk self. Boom. Beautiful. Now we're talking. That's how you use a GC, boys. Huh. Ah. Let's go back to, well, I like our new, I like our new little tracker, tiny tracker. Um, comment that out. And now we can go, GPU is there, that's all good. That's all good. Here we'll assert tensor allocated uh, greater than zero. Perfect, now we have a GC test. Uh, oh, we didn't actually test on the GPU because we have to say GPU equals GPU. Name GPU is not defined. Uh, test gc.gpu. Is that how I did for ops test? No, just self. Oh, I guess when it's created, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go in here. Tensors allocated. I called it allocated. I'm not in test ops, oops. Called it allocated. Good. My naming is good. Okay. Seems pretty consistent. It does get slower, I don't know why. That is a great mystery, why it gets slower. Let's add back in the backwards pass and see if the same thing remains true. Oh, no, we got leaks, boys. We got leaks. Uh, okay, how do we have leaks? What's leaking? See the leaks? Look at the tensors, they're leaking. I see leaking tensors. Uh, Dell loss. I mean, I shouldn't need to. No. Okay. We got leaks. We're going to get that leaks down to nothing. My GC test passed, but it doesn't pass if I move it here. Um, so what's broken? Log soft max. Can I do that? Fine. Del out y loss print tensor dot allocate. Oops, still leaking. Okay, what's leaking and how? I don't get anything else. Oh, we're running 
multiple gradients on the efficient net. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, okay. We can replicate that in the test. Say A2 equals that. Then we want to say A2 times B, yeah. No. Oh, but yeah. Okay. That test is not, this isn't the problem when you delete all the tensors. The problem is when you're keeping one tensor around. Let's leave that simple test for the GC. Now let's create a complex test for the GC. First, we create this tensor. Uh, we don't need log softmax, that's not the problem. And I don't believe, does this even return anything? I don't think backward returns anything, yeah. So that's not even real. Um, okay. In order to test the complex one, we want to create. See if that test works. Okay, good. Uh, let's create three tensors. Well, no. Um, print tensor allocated. Del B print tensor allocated. Okay, so our two allocated tensors are A and A grad. That's correct. Um, make B two now. There should be three allocated. Now, what if I do the mean? Six. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, I mean, th th this might even be why it's getting slower. Because some CTXs are getting really big. There's some like bug in using the in using the weight twice. Yeah, that shouldn't be six. Other, where are these other tensors? Things are getting stuck attached to A. Print A dot CTX. Tensor has no object CTX. You want to order some food, Alex? Eggs. Yo, we could just make some scrambled eggs. I think you make great eggs. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're going to make great eggs. Okay. So somehow there's tensors, even though... get a little more granular here. C equals A B dot mean C dot backward del B C.
Yeah, you see how we're getting six there, and it should be four. Yeah, so now we see the test fail. Because something is remaining in the contact. Exactly understand. After I do that, there are six allocated tensors because something isn't getting free. Fix that, and we fix the problem with the efficient net training. Assign CTX here when I apply a method. I didn't apply any methods on A. So, okay, to be clear, the four tensors that are allocated here are A dot grad and B dot grad and A and B. See, those exist. But I don't know what the six tensors are allocated here. I mean, I guess we can add them all to an array and we can check. Um, did we get A and E support? Yeah. So, not in TinyGrad yet, but in the TinyGrad repo, there is support for the Apple Neural Engine. Uh, and we can get to that in a little bit later today after we fix uh, some of these bugs. Uh, did we get, did, did you guys follow me on Instagram? Oh, good, 30.2. All right, let's keep that Instagram going up. I applied to get my blue check mark, and I'd love to get a blue check mark. That would, that would put me in the category of the famouses, and I've always wanted to be in that category. So, if you guys can, I'm one step closer to meeting Taylor Swift. You know, she has a blue check mark. Let's see, does she have a blue check mark? Oh, I don't just want to, you know. Oh, look, Taylor Swift has a blue check mark. Oh, I don't. Oh, see, Taylor. Blue check mark. Me, no blue check mark. Taylor, blue check mark. Wow, she doesn't follow anybody. What a narcissist. Oh. Follow me on Instagram, boys. Uh, let's figure out why the GC doesn't work, and then let's show more for Instagram. That shouldn't be six. Like, why is that six? What is getting stuck where? I don't even understand. What if I make a new one? Four and six. Yeah, so that makes sense. Um, let's look for grad. So A actually already has a grad. Are we just not zeroing the grads? Is that the problem? Do I have to say A dot grad equals none? Ah, wait, so this is actually just a straight up normal torch bug. Like we just didn't zero the grads. Yes. Now, that still doesn't explain what happened. Um, else t dot grad plus tensor g. So actually, the problem here is that that can have a gradient.
I see the problem. Uh, so we're accumulating the gradients. I mean, this is totally broken on, yeah. We have to fix this anyway. What is G? It's a GPU buffer object, yeah. Yeah, so we kind of have to do like, you guys see the problem? It's that. Which is normally okay, but it's creating, yeah. Well, hmm. actually, I think the problem might be, does tgrad have a context? I just delete that, it should be okay. No, it's always none. Um, which up? Oh, are they bad? If they say they're bad, they're bad. I mean, they just don't taste as fresh and delicious. Alex. Alex, that, that was, uh, you know, remember Halloween? That was before Halloween. <laughs> So we're creating a new tensor there. Mm. I didn't even use a single fucking head. Oh. The problem, okay, the problem is this plus here. It's okay. The chickens don't mind. Wait, I can't wait. Uh, um, yeah, so that's creating I don't understand why t.grad.context doesn't, doesn't have anything. Oh, no, 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 it did, it did, it did. One of the times it did. Ah, okay. So I think I can just say, we're getting eggies. We're getting eggies. There we go, fixed. Just need to delete that context. Um, no, no backward pass through the ad. Done. Test passes. I'm happy. And now let's try the big test. Perfect. 671 tensors allocated. Wow, that was really allocating a lot of stupid tensors. Um, we also have learned that we need to zero the grads. So I think I have a helper which gets all the, at least if I don't, I want one. Uh, tiny grad utils. No, so I have a method that converts models to CUDA, don't I? Maybe I just, uh, no, I have parameters which I pass into the optimizer. No, I don't. That, I actually just hand-coded that for each stupid uh, thing. Okay, well, that's a different bug from this. Uh, let's see if I wrote anything that we don't want to commit. Um, we don't actually need those Dells anymore. I think we can get rid of them. Let's just check. I mean, yeah, it's more tensors, but it's fine. They get the updated. It's actually faster with them, though. Leave them. That's good. No backward pass through the ad. We did the deep walk refactor. We increment tensor allocated, decrement tensor allocated. We added two lines there. That got moved to there. Okay, that looks good. Fix memory leaks, add GC test. Okay. Um, 
Now, this is a bigger problem. We don't have anything called parameters. We're going to need to find parameters to zero out all the gradients and to run the optimizer on it. So did I really just hand write it for everything? Yeah, I did. Damn it. Well, this is going to be a nightmare. See the problem? So when you go into the efficient net, there's no way to get all the parameters. Wait, we're actually getting eggies? I don't trust eggies. Oh, good. Okay. Could eat three eggs, maybe four. Um, We're going to need to write something that just walks classes. Should get all the parameters, right? going to be some fun Python from tiny grad utils and for get parameters uh, parameters equals model Iterate object attributes. What name get parameters from tiny grid down? Save it. And save it. Okay, good. Uh, comma type V. Okay. Um, Let's say model. So, it's fine. Uh, if is instance, we can import tiny grid tensor here, right? V tensor parameters 
dot hand v. Your exit doesn't work. GPU buffers. Oh, no, that's just, okay, that's just the print. Okay, we're finding those ones. Um, okay. If is instance the list uh, map get parameters v um uh, For x and v uh, parameters dot extend get parameters v, uh, x. Int has no attribute dict. If I want to avoid that. Um, Python has attribute. If has adder model uh, dict. Torch makes you use special lists for this, and I think it's kind of stupid. Okay, we found a lot more. Um, let's print length parameters. And then it's 115. Good. Uh, oh, well, we didn't get them all because of that. Um, Three sixty. Is that right? Uh, let me get rid of that print. Three sixty. And we can add it to efficient net. Uh, print easier and length. Just do this quick. Did I do it right? That should be 360 as well. Uh, didn't happen. Oh, because I guess I didn't load the torch model. Uh, let me just run the other example. Three sixty, cool. Happy with that. Let's get rid of those stupid enters. We should refactor and use get parameters everywhere. Can somebody do that? I'm going to push this and then you guys go into all the tests. Like everywhere in the test that my models have stupid uh, parameter things, we should just call get parameters on them. I would appreciate you if you did that. Uh, okay. Let's zero out for p in parameters. p dot grad equals none. Oh, you hand-coded the parameters for efficient net? 
Yeah, well, that's, we have a get parameters class. And I like the idea that it's a class and not a method, like the way they do it in PyTorch. I think it's more beautiful this way. What does that hang? You're deallocating something massive? That's what it seems like. Oh, well. Get parameters. All right, now let's run it through the optimizer. Let's go. Actually, we're not really training yet. See you, See you soon. You're dressed like, you know when like the celebrities don't want to be noticed and they wear like a hat and glasses? That's how you, that's how you dress it. Don't it doesn't learn. You've tried it. Well, maybe it learns now that we added in zeroing the gradients and shit. Um, oh, it doesn't learn because the batch norms are wrong. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta write the batch norms to make them work. Okay, we need an optimizer. Let's get one from test, test MNEST. Which optimizer are we going to use? Atom, of course. Here's my train loop here. After backwards, we're going to run optim step. Does it work? Let's find out. Name optim is not defined. Yes, we have to import the optim. Grad optim has no step. Oh, because we want to say optimizer. Wait, oh, we have a zero grad? Oh, I didn't know it had zero grad. Oh, we have a zero grad. That's nice. Um, Hmm. None type object has no data. Who's a none type? Uh, no, what if I do SGD? Does that work? Supported type for non type and cancer. Oh my god, are they not all getting gradients? Yeah, I feel like they're not all getting gradients. Which one doesn't have a gradient? Ah, uh, 4p in parameters. Print p. Okay, a whole lot of them don't have gradients. What doesn't have a gradient? Oh, uh, let's write a printer for the GPU buffer object. Um, Tenigrad tensor. Uh, here, wrapper. Hold 
if you buffer shape one with grad none, what are those? Damn it, don't make me get the parameter names. I have to write parameter names too. I feel like I'm going to have to get the parameter names. They have shape one and grad none. Why are they showing up as parameters? What stupid tensors did I allocate inside the efficient net? Oh, it's the running mean and batch norm. Well, that's stupid anyway. Um, yeah, num batch is tracked. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That was a stupid thing anyway. <coughs> uh, I think this might be broken now because it's like, oh, it has no attribute. Num batch is tracked. We'll just exclude that. Dot ends with one batch is tracked. Continue. You know what? No, this isn't really right. How does Torch deal with this? What if I pass in parameters that have no gradient? Should I fix it in the optimizer? I guess, what happens, does anyone know? Uh, no, the, the batch norms have gradients right now. Um, they, they don't not have gradients. Uh, does anyone know how to, what PyTorch does if I pass in something that doesn't have a gradient to an optimizer? to add that everywhere. Tensor requires grad, get parameter should not pass the weight without gradient. I'm not sure that's right, because no, get params can't possibly know which ones have gradients and which ones don't. Binary op unbroadcastable, now that's a different issue. Um, oh, well that's stupid. Uh, yeah, 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 these because these params, you have to save params with grad. Mm, that's not right. That's not right. Mm. See the problem? We really shouldn't be using enumerate there in the first place. Nah. Oh, 
okay, as much as I hate it. Can't believe I added six lines for that shit. Just skip them in step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm doing now. Am I over the line budget now? That was six stupid lines. Uh, where'd my trainer go? Perfect. Oh, all right, wait, we got, we're back to, we're back to leaks. We got leaks again. Oh, it's because the optimizer, yeah, the optimizer's not running without Brad, which is what we need. It's the only way to fix that. Yeah, param requires grad. We'll ignore them. Oh, okay. So we'll just say if t requires. Oh, if it's in requires grad. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, okay. I get it. Because then we can do the. Yeah, so in torch params, are, yeah, okay, okay. So we can get rid of those stupid lines. And now let's change this params here to be uh, x for x in params if, param, if x dot requires grad equals true. Now it's going to complain. It says it doesn't have requires grad, but we're going to add it here. Internet requires grad equals true. Perfect. None type has no attribute data because we didn't actually set requires grad on those. Let's go into batch normal. We create the tensors here. We say tens. Oh my god, it's zeros. Uh, we can just set it afterward. Requires grad equals false. All right, that fixes the bug. That's pretty clean. Now. We need to set require. We need to set requires grad equal false on some of the others. We need other things to respect that. Respect. Uh, so CTX. Here we go. CTX save for backward. I've got to think about how to do this. So the problem now is the optimizer is actually computing gradients on, the optimizer itself is computing gradients. It's going to make the optimizer a lot faster, so. Uh, now let's see, does SGD have the same problem? We'll get to the harder ones in a minute. No. Okay. 
So it already doesn't happen for SGD. I don't exactly understand why. I mean, that should theoretically. I think when I create a gradient tensor, we should say requires grad equals false. Where do I create grad tensors? Here's one requires grad equals false. And then here I also create thing t dot grad dot. Oh, actually. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just make. And then we can remove that del if I make requires grad. Uh, okay. If I fix requires grad. So we're still going to have, we're going to, we broke the GC again. That fails, but only because it's not respecting requires grad. Um, I can't just say if requires grad, don't run the backward pass on it. But I can actually definitely not set a grad on it. Maybe that's fine for now. If self dot requires grad, that's true. To do, don't compute the grad. We don't need it. Broken. Uh, deep walk needs to. shouldn't be self. You want to say here T. Did I say self? It won't require the grab. to make it kind of inherit in the backward pass and that'll fix it. Um, well, I think I can say if requires grad equals false, don't create the context. Context is created on the new tensor though. Just like look at the ops and think about this. Um, ah, where do we create the tensors on the forward pass? Here.
Hmm, okay, that's pretty good. Did I do it right? Let's run the optimizer. Let's just make sure the tests still work. Cool. That was easy. Let's fix Adam now. You know, this just shows you guys all the beauty of PyTorch. Like, just how much thought they put into all this stuff. It's so good. And you know you wrote something good when it's just easy to implement. Uh, okay. Let's go over here to Adam. Create all these tensors. We just need to create them with requires grad equals false. Oh my god, this stuff's so ugly. So ugly. Who wants to refactor this? All right, 1300, sweet. Okay, with the optimizer, optimizer zero grad, take a step. Um, num batch is tracked, require grad equal false. Eh, okay, okay, I'll write it. That should be on one line. I'll write it, but there, there really should be some generic way to do this. You know, not do, not copy and paste this for all the stuff. Actually, can I just pass through KW arcs? Should work, right? And then that should work for require grad too, right? Let's check it first before I go and write all that shit. Drink down a little? Yeah. Feels good. Feels good? Yeah, I know you like that heat. Yeah, pass out. I mean, it's good to have coronavirus. Is that what the consensus is? I don't know. I haven't been in comments at all. We've been, we've been coding hard. As usual. Yeah. Read and read and read and read and read in the code. Yeah, I know in Torch the default's false, but I think the default should be true. I think Torch got it wrong. But we can always flip it later. Um, we can always flip it later and massively break the tiny grad API for anybody who came to rely on it for their very important work. What? Yeah, we can send you this out, yeah. All right, cool.
That's a nice apartment. I love the exposed concrete beams. This is Alex's apartment. You guys, you don't want to see my apartment. I got a shower. I feel dirty. So clean. So happy. Oh, I got a shower. What? New drink to try. What is it? It's kombucha and hemp. Oh. Water. Is it green tea o'clock? Yeah, it's green tea. Really How we doing on viewers, boys? UPS shipment on the way. Uh oh. Out of RAM. Wait, how how is that using RAM? I don't get it. Check the allocated tensors. Are the G is the GPU memory leaking? Oh, okay, let's make sure it actually doesn't leak. Uh, well, you know, I should be able to write that in the, in the, in the Python, in the GPU buffer class. Oh, shit. No, that doesn't work. You would assume it would release, though, because you can't delete it there. Um, there is memory leaking, it seems. No, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, looks like we're actually just using a lot of memory. Maybe this is using memory? What's using memory? What's using my five gigs? I mean, OBS, sorry boys, but you guys are using a lot of memory. What's using five gigs? I don't know why I'm on Chelsea's iPhone today. I really don't. Who the fuck is Chelsea? Yo. She's probably at the coffee shop this morning. Where's all my RAM? Chrome, that's gotta be using a lot of RAM. Wait, is this not a... Uh... Who's using my RAM? I feel like I got my RAM stolen. Sort by percent map. Yeah, guys, how am I using 75% of the RAM if everything's not using any RAM? Try purge. Unable to purge disk buffers. Operation not permitted. Man purge. Force disk cache to be purged. No, that's not where my RAM was going. Are there like GPU, is there GPU memory allocated right now that I can't see? And I like allocated it somehow in TinyGrad and then it crashed in a weird state and now it's using it? Kill Python? No Python. Where's my RAM? Who stole it? What's Apple's version of NVIDIA SMI? Yeah, that's a good question. Someone stole my RAM. Mm. And I'm using a gig of swap? My poor, my poor SSD. Okay, let's see here. System, not preferences, what's that? System information. Is this gonna tell me where my RAM is? Where's my RAM? Memory. No, I know I only have four gigs. 
What's the thing like, like there's an Apple thing that like lets me do, it's like this but good, right? You know what I want? Activity monitor, yeah. UI kit system, eh? OBS, twitch.tv, github.com. Oh, that's all using a lot of RAM, okay. Bye bye, github.com. Uh, chat is really using that much? Okay, well, we exited that. Yes, okay, never mind. Who said eight gigs of RAM was enough? It's not. Previews using RAM. I never use Spotlight. Why is that using RAM? Flux is using 83 megs of RAM just for sitting there? Can I have my RAM back, bro? Memory use compressed? Who compressed my memory? H top M to sort by memory. Oh, that's cool. Energy. Oh, well. How much global warming can I prevent if I kill OBS? Sorry, Twitchies. We care about the environment here on this channel. This is a Christian channel. Windows Server, kernel task. This, deleting those seems kind of like deleting System32. Um, no, this is, this is honestly, where the hell's my RAM? This still, it doesn't add up. What's wired memory? Well, that adds up to seven? No, it doesn't. No, it even, it, it even tells you the truth here. The app memory is only 1.6. Oh, no, that doesn't add up. What is wired memory? Belongs to the kernel. What if we delete the kernel? Do we need a kernel? Apple didn't even get over the network to use RAM on their server. Only Google would do that. If Apple did it, it wouldn't be reliable. If you buy iCloud, you get cloud RAM. All right, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm gonna kill Colonel. No, look, 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 my, no. Stop using memory. Guys, I need the 60, wait, whoa. Whoa, where did this one come from? OAHD helper, what is this crap? Using three gigs of my RAM. Part of Rosetta 2. Oh, I see. It was hot. Wait, where'd it go? Please. Thank you. Mining crypto. Ooh, Pacific Blue MacBook Air. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, well, I should have bought the 16 gig edition. <laughs> it could really be the GPU. Okay, how do I see my GPU RAM? I'm gonna install Ubuntu on it, and that sounds good. Let's switch to Ubuntu. You think streaming would ever work? Oh, you know what's an x86 application? OBS. <laughs> Did they build OBS for Mac Silicon yet? I stole my RAM. Underwear gnomes with the RAM. Okay. So what did I promise we were going to do in today's stream? Let's take a look at the title so I can remember. Because otherwise I don't remember. Wow, Twitch is not tolerant to having extra slashes. All right, we've got 745 people here. That's nice. And we're going to do CFAR. Oh, we're going to do CFAR. Wait, what? CFAR? Not that CFAR. 
Um, and we're going to do A and E, and we're going to do speed, and we're going to do memory management. So we did speed and memory management. Now we just got to do C far, and then if we get to it, some A and E. Oh, window GPU history on activity monitor. All right, all right. Window GPU history. I don't know. Let's let's go train. Let's see if we can actually make that work. Uh, fun. Uh, Tiny grad. Let's get some screen back. Oh yeah, I got rid of Zish. Fuck Zish. And Bash is the best shell to ever exist. And normally I don't have strong opinions like that, but after pressing the up arrow in Zish and having it, eh, it's a terrible shell. Everyone should use Bash and get rid of Zish. And this isn't like my opinion on Python 3, which will change two years later. Zish will never be good. What is Zish? Apple changed the default shell in Catalina to ZSH instead of Bash, and it's terrible. And I don't know who did that and what kind of political controversy that must have caused inside Apple, but it was a terrible choice and someone should feel bad about it. Why is it terrible? Like, I don't, who did that? You know, we can find that person, boys. We can find that person and tell them what we think of that. Why are you that? Oh, look, we're using the GPU. <laughs> Wait. Is there a window for the neural net? No, that'd be too much to ask. Mm, look at that memory. It's not memory, that's just the GPU and how much we're using it. Oh my god. Okay, well. Took you five seconds to find the post about separating the Zish history? Yeah, but Zish sucks. Do you want to spend your life trying to find shitty Zish things, or do you want to just say never Zish? Oh, Bash had a licensing issue. Oh, that's even more sad. That is even more sad. Um. I've never tried to code in Zish. Coding in Bash is a bad idea. Just use uh, use Python. All right. Well, you know what's nice about this MacBook? I've never heard the fan go off once. This doesn't have a fan. Mm. For a poor person who can't afford Apple, what is Neural Engine? You'll never know, bro. Why don't you make money and stop being poor? That's what Martin Shkreli would say. It's good advice. <laughs> they were literally, this computer was $1,000. And tell Apple you're a student and get it for $8.99, which I forgot to do this time. Alex, we forgot my student discount. What? I'm a student of life, and I want my student discount. I do have a student ID. I do have a student ID, it's true. Yeah, you get crappy 8 gigs of RAM, which is not enough RAM. I should have got the 16 gig one. Shouldn't have bought, I'm gonna buy an M2 with 16 gigs. Is it everybody a student? No, some people have stopped learning and they're not students and they don't get the discount. Uh, all right, where, where, where are we going? Let's, let's do CFAR. All right, so for those of you that don't know, CFAR is tiny image net. I have some util for this, right? It's an extra. Where's my MNIST shit? I put it in the test, didn't I? Mm, all right, let's, you know what, let's just edit the example and have it done on CFAR. Uh, examples, train efficient net. Oh, actually, will this just work? Okay, well, it works fine on tinies. Those are the size of CFAR, right? Perfect. Okay. 
Should we do this in a notebook? Downloads that take forever. See uh, Python tar dz. <clears throat> yeah. Ew. Wow. How gross this is. How do they do this? Yeah, Readme.html. Oh, it's a link to. Loaded each way, each of the batch files contains a dictionary with the following elements. Why, why did they break it into five batches? Why did they do that? Batches.meta. Is that a pickle? Open it with RGZ. String bytes tar file bytes IO bytes IO from a oh, file obs great positional follows keyword argument oh. that smells like pancakes I baked bread you baked bread yeah. I love bread. that not be on one line? Probably not. Get member. Get members. Why would, why would anyone do this? Like write this crap. Get member tar info object. Unpickle from tar file tar file Python. Unpickle. 
par ex file extract file uncompatible with pickle. IO buffered reader object. ASCII Kodak. Pickle load. Really? Is that really what I have to do? IO dot bytes IO dot read. That makes me so mad. Wait, I think I'm just... Is it a string? I'm not a, this is some Python 3 bullshit. No, bytes. What? That should be okay. Why is it trying to go to ASCII there? What I do? Should I just download the C form meant for C? Binary version. Oh, encoding equal bytes. Oh, well, let's try that. Okay, now we're talking. What if I don't read and I just pass it into load? Does that work? No, it's gonna be like, that's not the right file type. You need to pass it, oh no, it works, okay, cool. Never mind. I, I prematurely reacted. Okay, load see if I works. All right, are you ready for lunch breakfast? Yeah, let's eat.
Oh, 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 sorry, the, the key isn't data, it's B data. That's right, Python 3, boys, Python 3. Oh, oh, is that the right shape? No, of course it's not the right shape. I don't know what, what 3072 is. Well, the first 3072 bytes are the red channel. They're stored in row major, or do you read me? Do you read me? Do I have to reach through the TV? You know that song? Um, equals DB. Batch labels, labels, data, file names. Uh, slow. Mm. Well, what type is that? All right, uh, let's look at test MS. Do you guys see from over there? Mm, no, then we have to unplug the monitor. That's going to break. No, no, Alex, I'll join you for breakfast. Thank you for cooking. I love when you cook things. Okay, Twitchies, you guys are just gonna sit right here. I'll make, I'll make chat big so I can see you. Oops, wrong window. Show you the breakfast. This is what Alex made me. This is beautiful. Mm, Alex, they're interested in your Turl wall lamp. I don't know what that means. Oh, we have eggs. We have, we have. Mmm, apple. Oh. Loves that light. They love nothing in my life is more important than that light. <laughs> the one that looks like a turret. A what? A turret? T U R R E L. Turtle. Oh. You're talking about the art of James Turrell. You've heard of this guy? He's very famous. We talk, I've met him. He's great. Wait, it's on my to do list. I'm going to go to the crater. Do you know Kanye West gave him like $20 million? 
No wonder he's broke. I don't have nothing anymore. You gotta turn your, you gotta turn my. It is like a Terrell. I really would like to date the light. I think it's in the seventies. Mm. I will definitely custom make. The light. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any more like it. Does that make you a light guy? Because custom. No, because there's no more light. Well, I mean. I've seen a lot of stuff in the design world. I've never seen like an office shelf in the design store like this department. The thing that I love about my MacBook mm -hmm. is that there's a million large strips on it. Mm -hmm. I would make these lights and sell them. But Allison, what if your light breaks? And what if you write code that runs on your light? It'll only run on your light. What's wrong with that? The light is very easy to repair. It's quite simple compared to your MacBook. <coughs> Any person can just go get an injection, I mean, a big molded piece of plastic, put a light bulb in it. I guess the real beauty of mass production is software. It is. Mm. Mm. I mean, if something doesn't have software, it doesn't really matter. That light does have software, but the hue bulb. Well, yeah, but the hue bulb is mass, mass produced. And that's why it's great. Shades. Yeah. I don't know how to use those. <laughs> I would pay money to watch these guys close their shades. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> those chairs look so uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Wait, they're not, they're not, they're totally comfy. We got on the table. Finally came. Oh, we can make the camera bigger so they can see more. <clears throat> the chairs are pretty comfortable. Do you have a seat pad on them? A seat pad? A pad, you know, so you're not sitting on metal. Oh, yeah, they do. The seat bar is tiny in the chair. Mm, I thought it was the center for applied rationality. Maybe it's pronounced Sipper. It has an I in it. C I F A R. It's some Canadian research people. Sipper, I smell bad when you keep on. Double sugar. Double sugar. Can I see our Christmas tree? Oh, yeah, you guys watch the Christmas tree? photos out on the fridge. Oh, it's only a couple of months we don't have Yeah. Harry Bertois chair. Harry Bertois, yeah. He's a famous designer. Is that who made his chairs? Uh -huh. How do they know? I'm very famous. Like, I'm very, very famous. Um, James Bertrand. Who's heard of all these people? James Charles. Who's Bertrand? I know Bertrand. I know him as the Apple guy. Bertrand Russell? Oh, no, and the philosopher. Bertrand Russell? No, it's not who he is. Bertrand, um... Who's the philosopher whose first name is Bertrand? Bertrand Russell turns down capital for philosophy. No. Do they know? Posture check, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, my neck hurt after streaming two weeks ago. It's like some philosophical thing about how, how Apple writes the software and it's closed source. Mm. See where they're going with this. I know, of course I own it. Mm. I also teach you what we should do with this hole. Say Bertram Guilfoyle. Yeah, I did a 
Okay, famous Urban. What are people yelling about? I don't know why, but there's a parking lot, and it seems to attract a certain type of person. Um, oh. I've seen like protesters in it. It's just like a random parking lot right there. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> Oh, we tried to prove one plus one equals two. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> We're still not sure. That was a day-long stream. Prove one plus one equals two. Meta math. Then, um, the, the, the Mario, the guy who wrote Meta math, came in and wrote a proof for it, and his was good. So. One plus one equals two has a proof written, right? Yes. Just not in bed now. You can write it in top. You still playing in top? Mm. Not in the last. Here's New York, but the problem. People. I don't know. The proof stuff just kind of might not be the future. Really? Well, I feel like we're going to start writing software 1.0 and software 2.0, and that's going to be a revolution. Probably. I mean, like, we're going to have, like, no network. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are they saying? 11 MP. MP set exists. Define successor function. Successor 1 equals 2 by definition. Yes. Now, write set theory first. This is reality TV. You guys get to see our sun, Sunday reality. I reality to this. I'm gonna go answer emails in my bed. Oh um, yeah, there we go. Don't use your phone to do things. You're just slower at it. It's so true. Oh my god. Dude, this is gonna be terrible to order. Hmm. Big companies trying to pan your so I do it, sign me up. I don't know that. Has anyone made Black Lives Matter tea today? Think about it. Everyone has tea. Exactly. And if you think Black Lives Matter, you're gonna buy Black Lives Matter tea today. And so it's like it's a toothpaste that guilt you into buying, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know the market here. Think about it. If some store refuses to carry our toothpaste, we can stick a Twitter on you. Unless they're going with this. Yeah. Am I a millionaire? Not broke for life. Phones are good for telling people that's correct. Boys, if I was rich, do you think I'd only have eight gigs of RAM? To the painting that was on there. Now it's now it's great. I don't like it. I'm gonna see four feet on it. Moving. I was gonna stream yesterday, but I went to the office instead and looked into the Toyota issues. Got add steering torques to the counter filter, but the problem is steering torques are not torques. You need to write a function, and we can use this function in both ways. It takes in. Well, I saw the PR. And then the PR. Yeah, I saw the PR. Yeah. You do have like five computers at a different point. RAM, mobile RAM, is like six dollars a gigabyte. GPU RAM is like ten. I would gym that. There's only like crappy desktop RAM that you can get for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real cheap? Mm -hmm. 
you have a real tree? Yeah. You go chop it down. Oh, no, no. I, I mean like a Christmas tree, just like a tree. Oh, live tree. Imagine we won't sleep on the floor anymore. Do not want the floor. Mm. Well, I read a guide for your mattress to sleep on the floor. What is this? What? What are we doing today? What are we doing today? We're eating lunch and then we're going to get CFAR. We're going to train on CFAR. We fixed a lot of the bugs in the training in Tiny Dragon. Where's the terminal? Guys, we're taking a lunch break. We called in the food. One day, boy, one day. Shout out to the person who lended us that repository. Really working yeah. on it. Yeah. No, I'm ready to move to virtual reality. You guys all know that, right? Me too. And we called the boot. They only use B100. I look like I've been to where? Marrakesh? Hey, I've been yeah. to Morocco? I have been to, I love Morocco. I have the million on this. How can I read from so far? It's really hard. The words just become pictures. One day. I can't read the third word. Can you rap now? Bernoulli number? <clears throat> Half Life Alex and George? Travel regular reality. Alex is right. Sleeping on the floor is the best, yeah. Wait. You guys were complaining about how expensive stuff is, but you can try being rich. I recommend being rich. Just try it. It is life changing. Yeah. Nothing's expensive. Let me tell you what makes you rich. You know, there's three kinds of mentality in the world there's the poor people mentality, the middle class mentality, and the rich people mentality. And if you have the rich people mentality, you're rich. Yeah, don't be poor. Definitely don't be poor. You don't need any more things in that place. You can be middle class. And actually, with the middle class mentality towards like money, it's the closest to like Unabomber type 2, and you might be the happiest. When I have a permanent changing breath but wall, it's true. I do have a light changing of room. For people who, you know, I mean, it is like a middle class attitude to explain about it, complain about how things are expensive. But if it bothers you that much, just try being rich. What are those chairs? Dope? What's DOE? Dead on arrival? DOA. What's the DOA? Oh, oh, chairs though. Yeah. Do I have my chairs? George fixes his poverty. No, poverty Wait, is what's it say? inside Buy every person. Buy more what? To fix. Buy more V? What does it say? Buy more V fix? You know what would complement the chairs really well? A bed of nails. <laughs> Burr. I w it would be really cool to have like a big piece of wood and we put nails through and then you put the bed on top and it was just like this. Uh, a bed of nails. Yeah, it'd be really sick. That'd be pretty cool. That's a great idea. We should make that. The problem is we have to make it. Can we make it with software? Well, not through me, but it would be nicer if so I'll play two pins like two seconds into it. I agree. Yo, that would be sick. You know what would be nice if rich people could fly to Japan faster, but right now they can't. They, they, these chairs do look like a shopping cart. Well, I mean, when, when they made them at the time, they were trying to use like modern materials. It's like 
post World War II, all most furniture was made of wood. And they're exploring using um, kind of like pedestrian, everyday materials as furniture. You know what would be Hoping more? to be able to mass produce it. You know what would be more comfortable? What? Flat. That was also a popular material at the time. Mm. No, I like that it was church. Okay. Well, comma become a corporation. Yes. First of all, we already are a corporation. Uh, no. On our own paperwork. Done. And we have the mentality of a corporation. That's right. Um, are they doing skating or wearing masks? I can't read that. Hyperloop? Can you read the chat, Alex? It's rich bar. How can you read the chat? I can't read them. They really are. Yeah, being rich is much better before computers. You know, everyone has access to the coolest stuff already. Masturbation for so. sex is different things, different things. Mm. My whole team is not like this. Well, you know, Alpha Fold, they didn't publish a paper, they published a press release. It's disgusting. Can I see Can Alex transpose? A matrix and see? Yo! We were transposing a matrix wrong. If you don't transpose it with using little kernels and you write it the stupid way, it destroys your cache. Where do I buy my clothes? Everyone in comma got a big lecture about cash. My favorite internet store is Essence. S-S-E-N-S-E. -S -E. That's the best store online, I think, right now. And also has great clothing. We get, we, get, we get a plug from that? Essence is based in Canada. No, best, no, no. But if we, get, we, get, we could get it like paid. By Essence? Oh, I, almost, I almost have a blue check mark on Instagram. I got reached out to by some smoothie company to be an influencer, and they give me free smoothies if I posted five stories, and I was like, that's not worth it. I'm holding out for a better deal. You're going to find some disturbing things on Essence. Yeah, hold out for a better deal. You know what? Don't talk to me about it. All I think of when you say disturbing things is holes. And a lot of George's clothes I got at Barney's, but Barney's is closed now. Barney's is closed? Yeah, shut down forever. It was really sad. Wow. Should we bar? In my other house, I bought a bunch of stuff from the Barney's closing sale, like Barney fixtures. Wait, should we bought Barney's? We could have bought Barney's. Saks bought it and they shut it down really fast. You think we could have brought it back? I think I, I could have bought Barney's back. Why don't we buy Barney's? That's such a terrible online strategy. Why, why don't we get a lot of money and buy Barney's? Yeah. Um, tell them if they want, they can pay me, and I'll, I'll buy them clothes for them. Oh, we really can't see the chat from here. You what? You can't? No. I'm sorry. Mm. $500 an hour and I'll be your stylist. It's cheaper than me. I cost $2,000 an hour. You can buy $500 an hour. I'm pretty sure we're close. When will Kama AI make the car into a flying car? A hover conversion kit that came out in the late 20th century. Will Kama AI become a corporation like Microsoft? What does that mean? Why do they want to do that? Question for them. I don't even understand. No, I think it's just one person standing there. Oh. Where'd you guys put your pants in the closet? We're going to buy four. I'll just go straight to the closet. Okay, I'm amazing. Did you have a ransom purse or just dishwasher? It's nice, a ransom purse. Oh, so it's a lot of How much money will it take for you to run for president? Who's running for president? You should pour, we don't, why would you want to pour open pilot to a 2012 European car? Thanks, crew. Can you guys see me? I think you need to invest in, mm. When am I getting a, I don't think you guys want to watch my Twitch channel. It's not really, uh, it's not really very exciting. I mostly do a lot of, uh, no London office. Definitely not. We could do a coding stream together. Maybe one day, one day. Why are you looking for a girlfriend on LinkedIn if you had one? That's just a joke, you guys. Why not today? Oh, I love Mexico City. What well, Mexico City is so lame. <laughs> Come over and we love France and we love bread. 
Wait, who loves France? I love France. Have I? Oh, Jonathan Blow is great. France? I mean, I love Jonathan. Big the, fan. The only time He's in my amazing. life I was happy to be in France was after I left Jonathan? Portugal, which oh, actually managed to be worse. Um, can you show us your... George, I got into Facebook. Why don't you, you guys go to good Facebook? places like Malaysia? That's a good place. He's from France, I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you keep working. You know, I like to distract you. I like to distract. That's, that's a woman's job, for a mm, Trump. Uh, hey, asshole, stop chewing with your mouth full. Guess what? This is my stream, and I can do whatever I want. Wait, stop chewing with your mouth full? <laughs> 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 Bro, it's hard. Oh, can you do laundry? Japan. Oh, Japan is top to your country. I can't wait to go back to Japan. God to your countries. Japan, Malaysia. Indonesia is pretty cool. I like Indonesia. I wasn't bad at Indonesia. Thailand, Thailand's no good anymore. And I'm trying to play out. And China to play out too. China used to be cool. If you can believe it. What's left, George? What's after I want to go. I gotta go to Cambodia before it becomes shady. I love Cambodia. Cambodia! No, we gotta go. I love I'm going to Cambodia as soon as things open again. What? You are? It's not Denmark. Denmark. I've never been to Denmark. I don't know. So I gotta do that trip. I gotta go to Eastern Europe, too. Going to Eastern Europe? Yeah, I wanna go to Eastern Europe. I think you have that one. You wanna go to Eastern Europe? Yeah, I really wanna go to Eastern Europe. Yeah. Wait, we're gonna do the, the hike in Eastern Europe. We're gonna go to Estonia and shit. Estonia, Latvia, Belarus. Oh, Never been to all these countries. Oh. My solution for governance is to make me a supreme leader, of course. <clears throat> the only problem with dictatorship is that I'm not the dictator. And some people are like, oh, but what about the succession problem? Well, you know what's nice about that? I'll be dead! <laughs> oh, this guy hates Latvia. <laughs> have I seen Tenet? Yes, actually, I have seen Tenet. Alex, have you seen Tenet? All right, let's train in C far. Alex, I'll go see Tenet with you. Um, da, 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 da. test test amnest. All right, we can also try, um, we can try a smaller model if we don't want to use efficient nets. What? Only scalar arrays can be converted to a scalar index. Oh. What does that mean? The 
list attribute has no, oh, what? Who made it a list? Who would do something so terrible? Okay, we're trading the CFAR. Um, Okay, it's training. The loss is going down. Um, let's let's clean this up and make it a real nice training loop. Am I more than you bargained for yet? I've been dying to tell you anything you want to hear, because that's just who I am this week. Oh, good point. CFAR 10 only has 10. Good change. Um, oh, but the efficient net only supports 1,000. OK, we can fix that. Um,
was that other one I changed? Okay, not learning. Let's write a tiny net. That's seven times seven there. Or is that five times five? I mean, probably because we're losing. Now Chan is sixteen. Or Seventy-six over sixteen. Thirty-six. So we'll make that six times six. Loss goes down. Accuracy goes up. Sick. All right. All right. It works if we do tiny. Mm -hmm. Let's say here if OS. Is that not running on the GPU? I was running on the CPU. No wonder it was so horrifically slow.
Wow. It's a little brutal. All right, I think we just got to write batch norm now. Wow, okay, the optimizer is still brutally slow. <coughs> it's actually amazing how fast everything else is. Oh, well, it might not actually be that fast. Um, because... That's efficient, Nat, and the batch size is 16. I, I fixed all the, the memory leak bugs. I'll commit what I have. New pull requests. All right, what do we got? Variable number categories for efficient net. Oh, yeah, I would have, uh, I just added that. Oh. Wait, are we not doing any layer in it's in efficient net? Oh, that explains why it doesn't work. Oh, you're just trying to fine tune. I don't think we did any. Uh, yeah, we just put everything as zeros. We didn't do any initialization of anything. No wonder efficient net doesn't work. So I'm not gonna add those layer net uniforms there. I'm gonna make it zeros, but yeah, good point. Why am I a postmodernist, man? For the same reason I'm a progressive. You always gotta be a postmodernist and a progressive. They're just good things to be, you know? Wait, no, something's wrong if the M1's faster than a P100. That, that's not right. Of course there's no real truth. Who thinks there's truth? The rumor's true that I'm a lizard. Don't get me confused with Mark Zuckerberg. 
I'm not saying he's a lizard either, but I'm just saying, don't get us confused. You wonder what instruction set the P100 uses? You can look it up. That's public. The video's instruction set's public. You have a degree, but no experience. Do I have a chance at your company? No, you got that backwards. I have experience, but no degree. Yeah, I like you. Alex is gone. Alex is VR. Alex is being edited I'm in. in the she, she's being edited in after the fact. <laughs> Can I give you an unfunny answer about being a lizard? Yes. <laughs> All right, it trains, but we just need to initialize the parameters. Um, let me write that. Oh, this is going to create all sorts. We have to do it without grad. <laughs> oh, this is not so easy. You have no degree and no experience since you fulfilled 50% of the requirements. Well, you know what a 50 is. I know you don't have a degree, but you know, 50 is an F. Yeah, of course. If we're backpropping through zeros the whole time, of course it doesn't work. I don't know what happens if we backprop through that broken batch norm. Like, it's not doing what batch norm should. Oh, I also want to add one more. Turn, we can turn off squeeze, squeeze expand. I saw one of you mentioned one of the uh, the thing that Google was doing with uh, this is what we do at Comma. We just turn the squeeze excite layers off. You don't really need them, and they're slow. Sweet, we're training mm, a bit faster. Let me just add the sum there. Turn off squeeze excite. Chains in 380 milliseconds for an epoch. Look at all the time. Well, okay, it's not actually true that all the time is being spent in the optimizer. Um, I think. What if I do this? Wow, 
Like this time it's not being accounted for anywhere, but if I just do that, it's gonna force a CL finish. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you see what happens when I add that? It all gets much slower. But actually, oh, it's kind of terrible that I do that there. That's actually where the finish is then. Okay, now you see what we're getting. We're getting really on the epochs. So this here, this is all the CL queues and how long they're taking. This is how long it's taking to run CL finish. Yeah, so it's actually very slow. Oh, mad slow, boys. So you'll see if we do it with the CPU, we don't set GPU equal to one, there'll be no time in the finish. See, look how there's no time in the finish now, but there's a lot of time in the backward pass. Am I passing the test still? I've already merged that. Oh no, I broke the tests. Oh, I broke less than a thousand lines. Oh, well. Who's ready for some code golf? By code golf, I mean not code golf because we're making actual improvements. Uh, let's read the actual, let's read the check. Okay, when, when did I break it? When I fixed the memory leaks. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that added some code. Small crap. <laughs> You're trying to be rich, but it's not working. Well, you just have to, no, look. Don't ask me for money. Look, I'm in on this scam. Here's how you get rich. Find people with money and figure out how to get them to give it to you. That's all being rich is. You can't create money. You just gotta find people who have money and convince them to give it to you. Oh my God, we're 22 lines over? What did I spend all those lines on? Wow, okay, so much for, yeah, small grad, you know? Just solved income inequality. Don't take it with guns, don't be a savage. If you wanted a car, you wouldn't just, you know, go up to someone and jack their car. What kind of hood shit is that? You gotta, you, gotta, uh, you know, convince them to give you the money. And you can even make them happy while they're giving you money. Well, you can't be a bank, so, you know, those people are, like, the money, it's exactly how you get a car. No, you convince somebody to give you a car. I don't know how you've ever gotten a car. Maybe we have a bunch of car thieves on this stream, but, you know, 
then there's more sadness in the world. The great thing about capitalism, and it's all based around consent and happiness. Everyone's happier. We can race them for pinks, too. That's always an option. That's what I mean. Convince somebody to give you a car. People who aren't murdered are happy. So if you exchange not murdering them for money, that's fine, right? You got a good loophole there. Fuck socialism gang rise. Dude. <laughs> socialism is shit to your government. I mean, it's not as shit tier as, as, as communism, but, you know. Uh, create a lighter order with zero orders and go public. Billionaire overnight. See, there we go. You convince people to give you money. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Um, where did I spend all these stupid lines? Oh, I wrote that utils. Oh, yeah, that's in there now. Oh, that's a lot of, oh, that's a lot of code. Oh. <coughs> yeah, that's a lot of code. Oh. Profiler uh, has been refactored. I don't know, that's all pretty good. Yeah, all right, pull request to reduce lines. We're taking them. Mm. We're ending up here on here. I don't even have a MacBook. Yeah, we're ending up there. Okay, that's stupid code. Let's get rid of that. That was dumb. We didn't need that. Um, this can be a one-liner. Postbuff.cl if is instance else CL buffer. Looks nicer and easier to read. Could merge them all. Well, actually, I think this should be true too. I set read only there. If host buff is not none. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that's easier to read. I really don't even get a D-type. We only support MP4 32 here anyway. Better. Okay. Uh, with that problem, pretty minimal. Is that legal? Can I do that? No. You guys know that syntax, though. Let's try it. Oh, well, that's a different problem. Um, Okay, cool, line reduction's going well. X, if fx for x and y, really? Does that work? Well, I did a list comprehension like that. I think that's nicer anyway. That's more readable. Yeah, but okay, I wrote that.
Hopefully good. I don't think anything's gonna get too much shorter in here. You guys posted a good clip? Let's see what else we can refactor in here. <coughs> okay, well this is a ton of repeated crap all of these. Let's just write a helper function. Cards. Uh, we'll say num to tensor and turn Well, no, this. I really want that consistent testing thing. I should, uh, so close. I want to test the optimizers on the GPU as well. Um, oh, this this is so close. I want to I want to merge this. That's nicer. But you agree that these things are actual cleanups, right? Like I'm not playing code golf here. All right, we're four lines away now. The tests don't count. Pinguino, thank you for subscribing. You find this convoluted to read? What, what do you think is convoluted? Make 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this down here. It's nicer down there. I want all the GPU code to live down there. Um, no, but that is instances past there. a static method. Actually, what is the node that I call it with? Self. Very convenient. Errors. Node is not defined. Oh, uh, self. Node self.ctx, self.ctx.parent, self. Instead self. of so node, I call it self. That should work. That's a nice refactor. I don't think it got us any lines, but it's nice. All right, hype train. How many we got? What's what's the level of hype train? How are we doing? How many people we got in here? We're doing pretty well. Level one complete. You're doing pretty well on people. Four forty, sweet. No, backwards pass, topo sort. Tiny grad supports CPU and GPU. Did I put that in two places? Oh. What?
Let's keep the hype train going. We're doing pretty well here. We're making great. Look at look at how beautiful it is now. Um, put ops in these debts. I kind of don't like them anymore. Uh, the problem is sometimes it's the GPU and sometimes it's not the GPU. That's why we have those. I really just want the right dispatch functions to apply to the right type of tensor. Eh, I don't know. What uses detach? Oh, okay, cool. there. Two more lines we got loose. Oh, Stuke 53, thank you. Thank you for gifting subs. For gifting subs and keeping the hype train going, I, you get any question you'd like. I don't know Mark Cam was doing that. I hope it works. We're on the M1, Stuke 53, any question you'd like, I'll answer it. Let's go. Ben Hopkins, subscribe, and you can get any question you'd like. No, 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 no. You guys didn't gift any subs. If you gift subs, you get questions answered. Less lines. Please increase sound volume in OBS. How much are subs? How much are subs? I don't know. Why don't you buy one? <laughs> you should subscribe to my channel, Alex. Well, the tests are passing, just 1,000 lines is failing. All right, we gotta lose more lines. <laughs> Ah, how difficult is getting a manual transmission to work with OpenPilot? Not difficult, and if it's done well, we would even upstream it. There's really no difference um, between the manual transmission and the automatic transmission cars, except that you're going to have to shift occasionally. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would upstream a manual transmission. I think that it's probably only, like, probably not that many lines of code, like not really more than a normal carport. I'm trying to think if the shifting would ever play into it. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I think it's, it's totally doable. Not that many lines, and we would upstream it. Uh, median human, your turn to get a question. You want a manual Corolla? Get it. You can make it work. 
median human. You guys, you other people don't get questions. Look, look at how I look, I answer the question nicely. If you give subs. Median human, what do you think of too simple and, well, one of these things I'm gonna have to Google. Uh, oh, the CTO of Too Simple. Um, Too Simple is in San Diego, so um, to quote Too Simple, they're the world's largest and most advanced self-driving truck company. Uh, again, do they make revenue? Probably not good. Um, yeah, I, I feel negatively about too simple um, and about shouty how I would have to think about it more. Let's just look briefly at his. Uh, so, so briefly, just by looking at the website, there's nothing I dislike about this guy. Um, hasn't published in a while. What is it? Ada? What is this? I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this guy. And what's Ada batch? I mean, it never took off. Now I'm dissociate bias. I like this paper. Yeah, we like the guy, but too simple, stupid. You prime subbed. All right, did you just add a prime sub? So you're a normal sub and a prime sub? You're going to ask if I heard about memristers. You get a quick answer. Yes, I've heard about memristers. I've been hearing about memristers for a long time. I don't think anything's really going to come of them. Oh, and anything that's a high-speed specialized compute chip? No, transistors are fine. All right, we still got to lose two lines here. That's literally just a zero and a one bug. Oh, you know what? There's an op we don't use. It might be time for it to go. The div op. Yeah, goodbye div op. Div's not one of the basic ops. Sorry, Div, you didn't make the cut. It's unused code. Remove unused Div op. Ah. Oh. 993 lines. Tiny grads, tiny again. We made it tiny. All right. So with a 900 line library supports both CPUs and GPUs. We are training efficient nets. Now, we're not actually training this efficient net well because we didn't initialize the efficient net. Oh my God, and there's only some parameters that we initialize. Oh, this is a nightmare. Okay, well, so it's taking 1.5 seconds per batch. 
that's slow. But at least we don't have memory leaks anymore. Let's get rid of the optimizer for now and see how much faster it is. If I don't use the optimizer. Okay, literally all the time is being spent in the damn optimizer. How fast is that? Too bad stochastic gradient descent doesn't work. A lot faster. We've sold a lot of meetings. I think we're almost to 10 meetings now. Uh, okay. We didn't get to any A&E stuff. I think we're going we're gonna to take a break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to do the nighttime A&E stream. I'm back. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to chill for a little bit. And then we're going to come back on. Now, nah, maybe we'll only take an hour break. One hour break, and then we'll be back to do A&E stuff. Um, okay, so I also, here's why the efficient net doesn't train right now. Um, all right, well, we're going to do one more quick thing before we, uh, before we leave. If anyone subscribes right now, you guys get one question. This is a limited time offer. You guys get one question. Um, if you gift subs, you get like any question. Now, if you just sub right now, you sub right now, I'll answer your question. Um, the reason this isn't working right, right away, by the way, right now, is um, it's because it's not being initialized. So someone's got to write the initializer. Hopefully we get that in a pull request. And what we're going to work on right now, you can see this is still training slow. We're going to work on getting this to run on the A&E. Now, if you think that's slow, it's currently taking 1.6 seconds for a BS16 epoch. Eats indigo, you got a question coming. Wait. Holy shit, it's actually faster on the CPU. Never mind, everything's a scam. <laughs> it's actually faster on the CPU, wow. Wow, that's a tragedy. It's because that optimizer's so terrible. Ah, oh. eats indigo magic spoon. What are the questions? Let's go. Well, yeah, I mean, if we up the batch size further, I bet it gets worse. So nasty. Did I see Ian Beer's zero day? Yeah, that big iPhone one. I did see that. It looked impressive. I didn't have a chance to read it yet. No questions, just chilling. Cool. Do you know about Updog? I, I do. What's up, dog? Uh, do I like Bill Gates? Yeah. These are your questions? Yeah, I like Bill Gates. You know, there's like Bill Gates hate. I'm like, dude, what did Bill Gates ever do? Bill Gates seems like, I mean, he was kind of a dick at Microsoft, but like, you know, I think we're all over that now. Uh, Bill Gates, I think, does a lot of great stuff for the world. Um, you know, I don't buy into any of the Bill Gates scams. We like Bill Gates, right? You have clean hair now. You have clean hair? You clean we your hair? We love Bill Gates. Yeah, that's right. Bill Gates is great. Hmm. 
We're gonna take a break and shower, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna do A and E. Yes, please. Wow, the GPU is really not faster. Such a scam. It's actually faster than the CPU. <laughs> Jalapeno SD, last question before we cut the stream. Make sure this is all committed. Yeah, we're committed. What? I'm just gonna take a break and shower. Freshen up a little. Listen to some Taylor Swift. I'm kinda of awesome I do it. I'm using like the crappy little GPU in the M1. Oh, let's make sure the tests are passing. Am I really a reformed cyber criminal or is that a joke? <laughs> if you have to ask. <laughs> yeah, tell them about your forthcoming interview with cyber criminals. Oh my God, no, 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 we're not going into that. Um, oh my god. I see, Alex, this is why we can't write reform cyber criminal. Because they, they, they really don't know if it's a joke or not. Yeah, that's part of the fun. <laughs> Obviously, you're a reform cyber criminal. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a reform cyber criminal. That's right. That's right. One of these days, I'm going to give, like, talks at, like, um, prisons. I'm talking about how I used to be a criminal too, but now I learned the error of my ways and I decided I wanted to participate in society. For you. Soft toothbrush. It's the the best. dentist tells me that, but I like hard toothbrush. Well, the what you destroyed the one in there. Uh, no, the only question is, do you think when women visit my Instagram and see that, it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing? That's the only question that matters. Why is that the only question? Because why else do I have an Instagram? I forgot that you were just doing Instagram, I thought. That's right. <laughs> what do you think when you see that, Alex? What do I think when I see reformed cybercrime? That's right. I think it's... That's good. Good. Women like that stuff. All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Be back in an hour, boys. I was just sitting here coding, and we were actually just uh, watching Taylor Swift videos, and that's why we can't stream. But I guess we can stream. Okay, so I noticed that yeah, there's something wrong with my init. On the efficient net. Um, long live all the mountains we moved. I had the time of my life. Um, So this is what happens if I knit. Oh, well that went nan fast. Mm. Oh, what a big grad where we try to make the most bloated bench possible. I like big grad. It's a good idea.
See, look, all of them have the same. I'm printing the outputs, and all of them are the same. <laughs> you guys saw Cheesy last night. When are we coming out with them TCs? I don't know, next year. Random 30 second sleeps. That's not a bad idea, actually. And then think about it. Imagine you're a programmer and your job's to, uh, to, to improve performance of something. Imagine you like actually just slip in sleeps. Or you have like a fall guy who slips in sleeps. And then you remove the sleeps and you look like a hero. You can do a lot of things if you have a fall guy. Um, and I checked, it wasn't even the batch, <coughs> the batch norms that were breaking it because I took them out. Look, all of them have the same, doesn't matter what input you put in, it's like no signals making it through. They're all the same. Oh, we have some bugs somewhere. Oh my God, does one of the ops not work in batches? Ugh. We're gonna get to A&E stuff, but now, I'm kind of full. I ate a lot of tortellini. I'm gonna put this tortellini in the fridge for later tortellini. You guys remember when I had later, later, later? What did I have later for my hammer? Later. Well, we'd listen to Taylor Swift songs, but we can't because they're copyrighted. <laughs> See, look, look at the batch. Oh, look the same. That's a good point. Do contract work, put sleeps and everything when they ask why it's slow, charge a massive fee. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, right, so I disabled the batch norms. Let's see what else could be breaking this. Params 51? Really, are like most of the params and batch norms? Okay, let's, uh, let's be methodical. Efficient that you know it's very easy to debug tiny grads. You can just like say like print x there. Actually, let's confirm the GPU and the CPU are both getting the same answer. Because it seems unlikely that there's a bug in both of them. Well, same answer, yeah. Maybe just the signal's not making it through. Too many swishes. Um, say X. Ooh, 
was not the right size. Oh, tense object concepts. Okay. Get it. I put a lot of zeros there. Are there four zeros? Or is that actually just the same output that I didn't comment out? They're all just very small numbers. Look at how small those numbers are, but they are different. It's very small. Are those numbers small too? Those numbers aren't small. Oh, does, could it be the average pool? Look at how tiny those numbers are. They're so tiny. It's not what the tiny and tiny grad was supposed to mean. Look, the gradients are vanishing. I can watch them vanish with my own eyes. But they seem to really vanish after every one of those. that the gradient's vanishing. I can watch it vanish. My uniform tensor is not good in its. Um, I added this new method uniform. Square root prod shape. That seems pretty good. And then in it uniform and then in it constants. Mm. Oh, you know what would save us here? You know what would fix us? You know what would save us from, from this terrible fate? Batch normalization. Oh, now you see why we need the batch norm. Oh. Seven. All right, are we seeing, is it Taylor Swift singing time? No copyright sound on YouTube. Yeah, you ever listen to no copyright music? It doesn't sound good. All right, let's 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 just write batch norm. We, we don't have a choice. We just got to do it, you know? Uh, 
What if I multiply by 1,000 in my batch norms? Does that work? I should be sponsored by Spindrift. That's true. Wait, that actually made it worse. Oh, because we're running var, we divide by that. So I don't know. Oh yeah, look at those big numbers. Oh, them numbers is huge. Until they got so big, they became nav. That seems pretty good. We're not even getting the same answers any, anymore. Wow, nothing trains without batch norm at all. Warning, no, number 32 isn't float 32. Oh. No, nope. it looks like all the same crap again. Oh, that made different crap. Wow, okay, we just got to write batch norm. All right, let's write hacked batch norm. X.data.shape. Print x.data.shape. Let's write only CPU batch norm. I didn't want to have to write batch norm. That's not what I wanted to do this stream. But here we are, we're writing batch norm. I didn't normalize the images, no. Should I do that? What? <laughs> oh, your weird kombucha thing? Oh, no. What? No, no. Um, we want to say x dot data dot mean access, just not one. Integer is required. Got type range. Oh, list range. Integer is required. Got type list. Oh, we need a tuple. Oh, I did that wrong anyway, actually. We just want to say x is 0 for the batch. Even right. Is my batch form totally broken? How does this still how does this work? Oh, batch norm 2D. Oh, batch norm 2D, okay. So just that. Any 
integers required got type list. Oh, I did this again. Gotta be a tuple. You guys paying attention? Okay, look at that. Look at how much better it is now. It works. Since we added batch norm, we're actually getting different behaviors. Look, accuracy is even going up. Oh, to the moon. Batch norm is sick. Nothing works without it. Wow. Batch norm is so useful. Bye. Um, oh, and then these ones actually don't require grad either. So we don't want to update them. The different, look, we're getting different, see how we're getting different answers out depending on the image and before we were getting the same crap? Yeah, we need to really need to write batch norm like properly. Yeah, I read the chat, Dago betting what? You want some? Look at loss go down. Unfortunately, that doesn't work on the GPO. Well, I have mean, I just don't think I have access for it. Bachelor makes a huge difference. Bachelor actually makes a train. It's a spin drift. I said, remember this moment in the back of my mind. 
Oh, I don't know. Long live the walls we crashed through. All the kingdom lights shine just for me and you. I was screaming, long live all the magic we made and bring on all the pretenders one day. Oh, yeah. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I just listen to Taylor Swift, man. I don't, I don't really sing, I don't really sing Taylor Swift. It's just, you know, singing, singing is amazing. Singing long live all the mountains we moved. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. And long live the look on your face and bring on all the pretenders one day. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what? I'm allowed to sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> um I sold some tickets to come see my downfall. They sold out in minutes, had friends in the front row. Believe when I'm finished in lights when my name's gone. The ones who gas you up only come around when the flame's on. All right, uh, it's training, but this doesn't work because we need to use tiny hops. Um, well, let's figure out how to do that. Do you actually find, is, is this really me playing the piano? Or is this from like, like high school, Constantine? Yeah, high school Constantine. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make this work on the GPU too. Um, because we gotta make, oh, we don't even have mean. We have a mean, but it's, uh, we have some. Is some, does some take axes as an argument? No, it doesn't take axes as an argument. Oh, what a tragedy. Oh, that's a big refactor. That one I'm definitely leaving to people. Yeah. You guys can do it. Uh, what what is numpy var? The variance is the average of the standard deviations from the mean. So we can actually just say. X minus running mean data. Oh, we need absolute value too. Do I have that as a tiny op? Oh no, how do I implement absolute value based on what I have? No, don't tell me we need another tiny op. Variance second moments minus the first moment squared. Yeah, that's great. Oh, wait, what? Why do I need to take the absolute value if I'm going to square it? So stupid. Really the same. Um, operands. Oh shit.
Shape is an invalid argument for reshape. NumPy and DArray has no argument requires grad. What? Perfect. do this. What? Unsupport. Oh, shit. Uh, we need two. I have squared as an app already. I have square root. Uh, my non first class ops over here. So we have square root. I don't have squared. Nah, whatever. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's another thing that I should set. We should set requires grad and all those created ones to false. Unsupported types for times, times, or pow. What? Oh, did I not do that one? Nice. That's right. Oh, yeah, everyone star tiny graph. Everyone go right now, click that star button. We just need to make that mean work. Yeah, I'm taking tensor to a power, that's right. I didn't know we can put power there as well, but of course we can. Ah, uh, square root, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to do is in all those helper functions where we create tensors, we should say requires grad equals false.
not in the empty dot zeros. No, but I don't need an absolute value if I'm doing squared. And you can't get a negative number out of squared. No, I checked it. It's already it's right. I don't know, it's just a weird formula. I don't know if it's any faster. You can't use data dot mean. You have we have to just get dot mean to take an axis argument. All right, can somebody do that? Okay, but you just have to add and divide by the batch size. Yeah, so what do you mean I take the mean for any input separately? No, so I have to, uh, like basically, so mean is a second class op. Like here we have mean. Um, so this needs to take an axis argument, and then so does sum. Yeah, 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 but sum doesn't take an axis argument, right? So in order for mean to take it, you're gonna have to refactor and add it to sum. So you, you just, like we already support most of the stuff for it, so you're just gonna say like, you know, like axis equals none, and then that means all. But yeah, you know, our sum doesn't support it, so. So do the refactor. Nah, we're not doing the refactor right now. Uh, let's do a little bit of A and E stuff. Someone wants to make an issue for that. Well, it's already here. The back norm backward pass isn't right. Sum doesn't take axis. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, suck less has that requirement? I didn't know. No, it just makes us not make the code bloated and shitty. Oh, tiny grad. Wow, it has so many stars. Tiny graph's like one of the most famous things I wrote. Wow, when Tiny Grad passes Kira. <laughs> it's definitely not JavaScript, bro. All right, so I'll show you guys the progress I made on the neural engine. Um, Pretty clean now. So we have the first step, which is build. 
Uh, and this lets you get these p lists. You should have like net.p list here. So this is the internal representation that goes into the compiler. Um, and then you can run the compile with compile.sh. Uh, so you see this is the AE compiler running, number of ANEs one, number of NEs eight. These are the arguments that went into the compiler. Um, there's a way to disable these privates, but I don't really know how to do it. Plate of Shrimp, thank you for subscribing. Uh, and then I wrote this thing, HWX parse, which like compares. So this is kind of like the command buffer to the neural engine. So you'll see, for example, if I change the plist, let's say that instead of two biases, we only have one, but now it's not gonna work. Um, I don't know, can I say batch size equals two? Does this work? Yep, so you can see that that was related to the batch size. And now those are the things that are, uh, so that's how the code changed when I changed that stuff. So any reason the creation helper functions are static methods rather than class methods? See them ever being used from the class. I don't really understand the difference. I think it's probably fine if it's a class method, yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna be used inside the class, well, I don't know. I think I'm fine with that, and I think if you make that PR and explain it to me, we'll merge it. Like with a link that like says what those things are, because I don't really know. Oh. What's the conclusion of the neural engine? Well, it takes in these stupid command buffers, and someone's going to have to document them. You guys want to go through and document them? Like, and then I, I got the firmware out too. Uh, so I dumped the firmware in Ghidra. Like, so that's batch size. Oh, I did some other work too. I worked out like what the types were and stuff. So yeah, these are the types. These are the op codes, though I'm not exactly sure where they're used. Um, it supports uint date, int date, and float 16, and invalid. Those are the accepted tensor formats. Uh, I couldn't get anything to support. Yeah, so this this command buffer stuff looks like it's called Zin. And it's not in the firmware. This is in the lower level stuff. They have all these things too, which are like, all stuff like that that I don't really understand. This is the bias followed by the three uh, the three values. I know I have threes in here somewhere. Yeah, input channels is three. So if I like change input channels to two, well, you can see that that went down to two and also then we only get two things there. Um, I think I've got it so I can remove the bias too. Like there's enough stuff here that we can start. You guys want to just start documenting this? Okay. So what is this operation called? Well, it's like, it's a little annoying because that,
let's change something that's only going to change this. What if I change the input type to u and date? Well, let's say int date, uh, which is the one that's, yeah, that's one. So we should see a two change to a one somewhere. Yeah, it's here. You see all this bullshit changed. Let's see if we can make a simpler plist. Um, net plist an argument? No, it's not. It should be. Uh, we want to update it to compile, compile.m. What I do? Expected close paren to match this. What? Oh, is this a? Can I not do that? Oh my God! I got a CF string create with C string, don't I? I, I hate I hate objective C. I don't know how anybody codes in this shit. Oh, let me pass in the KCF allocator default just in case I might want a different allocator. What's a CF string encoding? Oh. Oh, well, that's great. I don't know, UTF-8? Does that sound like a good one? I, I hate Objective-C. All right, let's try to create a minimal one. We'll call it min.plist. Uh, let's see if I can create it without any. Wait, what? Uh, let's see if I can make it compile. That stuff is really useful. If you want to, uh... okay. So, like, if I do something like just delete probs temp zero, it like complains. It's like you can't just delete that. That's not allowed. Specified unit private in kernel list isn't found. But let's really just create an absolute minimum. Okay, well, we have units. So let's get rid of the, no, we'll, we'll get rid of the weights later. Okay. I don't really understand what a bottom is. Image, maybe? We'll get rid of this. 
uh, bias count, great. Okay, that compiles. Oh yeah, look. It's actually longer. I deleted stuff and now there's more bullshit. Bias data count and output channel mismatch. Probs at output. Okay, so what if my key at bottom is actually just image? Does that work? Can we delete that? No units in the unit array. Oh, we need our unit. Failed to parse output array of the network. Ah, oh. so this can't be the bottom. The bottom has to be something else. The bottom here is probs. We've left probs in the unit array. Okay, that works. That actually got longer. How crazy is that? Like I made that change and it turned that code into this code, which is monumentally huge. I think, right? Yeah, it's shorter. How do I delete something and it gets longer? Do I need units? Missing units in the network description file. You do need units. Do I need a bias? What's a GOC? Okay, let's try, let's try deleting the other one. Try deleting the bias layer. Okay, that got shorter, but only by a tiny bit. Bias layer is kind of stupid anyway. Because it like it like merged the bias layer in. So that actually didn't really do anything in the first place. Okay, I think this is a minimal well, we won't call it probs temp zero. We'll call it layer. Oh, that failed to compile now? The key name of the unit dictionary and the other dictionary do not match. What? So I have to call it probs? What if I call it probs? Failed to parse output array of the network. Oh, because that's just that name, okay. HWX parse does nothing. 
except that one tiny removal. Deep research, thank you for subscribing. Uh, okay, so this is a convolution. Kernel height, kernel index. Well, we also know that it's getting 342. So let's XXD net additional weights. Yeah, it's not even that. So we don't need that either. Good. Um, okay. Is there anything I can do to possibly make this smaller? We have one layer. Weights, and then let's put prob output at the bottom. Okay. We now have a single layer P list, which actually doesn't seem all that different from what we had. Of course, I've been to Von Yuanji. Love that place, bro. <laughs> Oh, also, this float 32 is a lie. It's actually float 16. But it can read them. Okay. Don't you ever gotta watch the people who ask questions like that not get good answers and be like, wow, maybe they're stupid questions? Um, okay. So this is, can I, are there comments in plists? Comment? This is a one layer network. So do I actually need this add output thing? I guess I do, it's probably something else parses that and it matters. Maybe it doesn't. Oh no, it probably matters because Bet you're the thing that runs it. I have a runner for these things too, so we can actually run the code. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
by our model HWX. So see that's that's D six C B. Now if we change this to have like input channels two, does that work? Same shit. No 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 no, but actually I want to change the output channels. Change the output channels to one, recompile, and then run. Yeah, we only get one thing there. I get two things again. I'll call it my layer, let's call it conv layer because it is. Do I need things like output interleave? I don't even know what that does. Oh, I didn't need that one. Output plane stride, can I delete it? No, I needed that one. Output row stride? Needed that one. I put type. Wait, what? It works without that? Never mind. I'm not deleting shit. I don't trust that. What if I delete output type? Is it the same output type? Yeah, float 16 is the default. that fails to compile because this output type needs to be the same as this output type. Oh, so maybe float 16 is actually not the default output type, it just doesn't need one. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't know what output interleave is, we don't think we need that either. Great, but that's redundant garbage. Wait a second, I got a question. What if I just say the output is conv layer? Tell me why it doesn't work. The bottom unit of the output dictionary does not exist. Oh, this? Input interleave, do I need that? But input height, do I need that? I do. I think these things are all important. Well, okay, batch size just defaults to one. I need an input type. Do I need an input row stride? Group reuse, do I need that? No, nope, don't, that was junk. Um, kernel width, do I need that? I do. Kernel mode, do I need that? Mm, yes, I do, default is dense. Well, actually, let's just really make it a minimum example. No, yeah, but I don't even know what I'd change that to. Kernel index, do I need that? Well, I don't need kernel index? No, that doesn't make sense, because I know I need that. Those ones you need. Oh, 
How does that work? Why can't I say output channel is three? Oh, it doesn't have enough weights. I can say output channel is one. Uh, where's it getting the model espresso weights? Yeah, one. Why does it get it twice? Oh, because it's a two by three comp. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that makes sense. Um, so actually, if we wanted to, I bet if we changed input channels to be two, which is normally fine, but then I can change output channels to be three because it has enough weight. So okay, now we're talking. That one is just for the uh, for the bias. Make minimal P list. I'm actually going to move that. Uh, model HWX golden. So an I HWX bar, so we get nothing. Okay. Okay. So this hex 284 byte program is literally the smallest program I can write which runs on the neural engine. Or at least I don't know how to make one smaller. Um. a single convolution. What are we working on? We're working on A and E in the uh, working on the Apple neural engine and if we can get it working in, in tiny grad. Uh, don't ask why. Uh, See, the thing is, that also changes the, hmm. Wait, wait, look at this one. Oh, C0 just must mean the batch size is greater than one. Which is like a weird thing. And this must have to do with the output tensor size. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of implicit shit here. You see, like, okay. Well, these plane strides aren't. Just change that. Where, what? Oh, because if I want to change that, I have to change that too. OK, that's good. OK. All right, all right, all right. we can get somewhere now. We can start documenting. Uh, Min.plist. So at one zero x eight c, we have the input plane stride. Uh, let's say u thirty two, and then this. Oh, this is some like multiplied thing. It's forty times forty. Not c.
Oh, no, that's the total size. Yeah, 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 the total size. Which is the input plane stride times input channels or something. So I can up that to 128, I can up that to 128 as well. Yeah, now we're getting that one changed as well, but it doesn't change the total. So this is input row stride. So this whole first part seems to be about the input. Forty four is the input channels. And I think if I change this to well, did that did the input channels change anything else? Yeah, so it also changed down here. You're gonna note that this is actually I mean, but that has more to do with the convolution. Change the input type. So this one is definitely the input type here. Oops, twenty or input type. So if we change the input type here to int 8, let's put these back to 64. So a whole bunch of stuff changes. See, that's a lot of complex stuff. I change just the output type. Wow, no, this whole thing is an op.
this, so this stuff might be the output here. Notice how we're getting 11 instead of 22 here. So we know pretty clearly what that is. No, so the left, the left is the normal, is if you just compile min.plist with nothing. And then like we make a change, like here, watch. Don't go back that far. Get checkout min.plist. So this is the stock min.plist. You see how there's no changes at all. Now, if I make a change, like change the input channels from three to two, we recompile it and we get this. All right, so like there's the three and there's the two. That pretty clearly changed. Now this, I don't exactly understand. Um, let's actually change that to that. And then this makes sense. It's because the input plane stride times the input channels. Right. Stop changing the type. What do you mean stop changing the type? Okay, that's just changing the input channels. Which this probably has more to do with like the weight matrices here. Now, for some reason, there's two weight matrices, which I don't exactly. Oh no, 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 that makes sense. Never mind. Um. Oh, you know what those are? Those are the strides in the weight matrix. Yeah, something like that. Um, okay. Right, so we're back to no changes. Let's change the output plane stride to 128. Let's see what number we get. Okay, here we go. So here's the output plane stride. So that's down there at... Uh, U 274 output plane stride. Um, now I think that U 278 equals output plane stride times output channels. We can confirm that by just changing the output channels. One. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, we can document that too, but before we get to that, let's change the output row stride to 128 and confirm that that's where we think it is. Okay, so the output row stride is at 270. Get rid of those, put it back, no changes. Now, we do the output channels. I change that to one. These things change. So, just like we have those two there for input channels, I think we can get 230 and 234 for output channels. And that makes sense with that multiply there. But okay, it also seems like output channels are up here. Not times anything. So these ones with times probably have more to do with strides. Like this is how like how it reads the weights or something. And then this one also changed. And so did this stuff, which is even weirder. I don't know what any of that stuff does, but um, we are gonna put it back to two. And then actually, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna make a crap weights file that it uses instead.
Um, let's support up to three by three. So what do I want to do? Bin uh, min dot weights. Nine weights in there. Instead of model espresso dot weights, we're going to use min dot weights. I'm going to change that 192 to zero. And that actually shouldn't change anything. Okay, that changes nothing. But now, if I change my output channels instead of from two to three, it's not going to give me an error anymore. Cool. Wow, but it still is changing the stuff up here. Okay, so that's all real then. Well, that 20 stays the same, but if I put it up to three, the output channels appears to be there as well. Oh, this is hard shit. You know, just when you think something's gonna be easy. Some of these things have to be strides. Like, look, okay, so now we have these three weights here with a stride of 40. I can confirm, by the way, if I change this kernel type to float 16, it changes no, none of the output. What if I change it to int 8? Oh, it's going to complain and say it's not. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was going to tell me it wasn't supported. I don't know about that. Okay, so it does run with you and eight kernels. Could be an address. And I'm not even really sure the convop is at uh, Okay, let's create a second one. Oh, it's probably just because I got the name wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's two ops. See, it changes so much there. Um, you know what, I'm gonna change the min one again. To 
actually be, oh boy, I think a three by three is simpler than a three by two. Yeah. So that's going to be the new standard one. Kernel type float 32, float 16. No, that can go back to float 32. That just, just it just pre-converts them. It's not exciting. You think they're a protobuf? I don't think they're a protobuf. I've never seen anything like this before. But I'd really like to be shown them wrong. All right, so we can add another layer if we go in here. worked. Is it combine them or something? Oh, this bottom is image. Wow, that does nothing. Okay, two identical convolution layers. Here we go. How long before the pattern repeats? Do we see zero? That's C0, so they're hex 300 each. This changes the output one because it has stuff to do with the... Uh... So it's so complex. Well, this is a gem. They don't actually have a gem. They just have conv. Um, you want to see if we can get something simpler? We'll try. So this actually was compiled from a gem, by the way. We might be able to get something simpler. Let's write our PWS grabber. Let's see, maybe I can just get an activation function. That would be nice. Um, okay, so we have build here. I mean, why not use U and A for everything? Okay, so this is actually what built it out of. This is what I built it from. Uh, well, I guess I did call it a conf. I 
look here. If you want to get, if you want to know where it came from, you can just uh, get it here. You can grab the P list. All right, let's try something simpler. Uh, neural network builder. Yeah, so that's that one that this is basically what we ended up making. Um, so we can try other stuff. Core ML neural network builder. Yeah, I just see I just copied it from this. I agree with you that inner product might not be the simplest. Oh, sign. So that looks really simple. It's the element wise sign. Think this compiles with the uh, with the neural engine. Error reading protobuf spec. Well, oh well. Neural network multi array can't be use exact array mapping instead. Oh well, so much for that. What if I add sign? Did not compile. Okay, inner product works. Let's see what else we can make work. Scatter MD, add scatter along axes. Argmax, argmin, a sign, a tan h. Element wise, oh, that has two inputs. Can I try a ReLU. No ReLU, but it has GelU. Cannot be rank five array mapping. But if I add in a product, it works okay. Yeah. We do a one by one. Yeah, we can do a one by one, but it's not really simpler. We've done that before. Oh, here, it's called add activation. Um, 
long. Okay, cool. Sigmoid works. Can I get rid of the inner product? Well, then you get this bug. Okay. All right, well, that adds a sigmoid. Oh, but that's not running on the DANE anymore. What, you're telling me, you're kidding me? If I add a sigmoid, I can't run it on the ANE? What if I add a ReLU? Error in declaring output props. Oh. Um, we'll call this med. Call this probs. There we go. Doesn't run on the neural net engine. Interface specifies name probs. This is a joke. If all I add is a ReLU after my, what do you mean? Doesn't seem right to you? If it said it's three, that's fine. That's not built by the neural engine anymore. Literally, the only thing the neural engine can run is a single Wait, really? Even if I add two, it doesn't work anymore? Okay, now I just think I'm doing something wrong. If I add that and I run it, it runs in the neural engine. I see the compiler. Is there a way to tell it what to use? My model isn't compatible, it'll fall back.
Nope, you got to pass in float 32s. Add crop. All right, let's add an element wise. Add that run on the neural engine? No, it didn't. Well, literally nothing runs on the neural engine. You want to add two things together? Not a run on the neural engine. Only thing that I can get to run on the neural engine, and now it's seg fault. The only thing I've gotten to run on the neural engine so far is that. And if you add the bias, it has something else. When I compiled one with only the bias, it got long and stupid. Element-wise stuff would be on the GPU. Why? What if I try bias? That's what it was, right? Oh my god, that's running as a root. That can run on the neural engine. Dimensions of shape bias do not match. Okay, that ran on the neural engine. Finally, something runs on the neural engine. Yeah, and this is the same crap that I was looking at before. Okay, so so far the types I've seen are GOC and COMF. And I can do just a GOC op, but it actually ends up compiling something that's longer.
I add an activation layer. It runs, but well. But it doesn't run on the neural engine. Activations, not on the neural engine. All it seems to be able to do is comps. And I know I can set that bias to true, but that's not. Oh, where weights are quantized. Wow. Look at this complex shit. So this all just looks to be a wrapper around this thing. Let's see if we can just look at it. There we go, neuralnetwork.proto. Inner product layer params. Why doesn't that run on the neural engine? Did Apple put a phony neural engine in it? It's very possible. I, I believe it. That's kind of what it seems like. Well, it's okay. The neural engine can do convolution. Don't use any nonlinearity. set thing is doesn't work. ML model predict, let's just like grep this for A and E. Here we go. Use CPU only. That can be an argument. But other than that, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Can we run a test? Did not trigger the A and E once. Oh, because use CPU only is true. Oh, cool. Okay, that triggered the neural engine twice. Let's see how. All broadcasted outputs. Look at this stuff. Um, broadcasted output, broadcast info. Okay, I found a new type. It's called broadcast. That's real. There's a second one there too. 
a zero. Let's look at this B list. Looks like more broadcast shit. Just looks simpler. Oh no, type scale element wise. Ah. Broadcast works and scale works. Scaled element wise. Okay, that looks simpler. Oh, wait, we fired more. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is so much better than me trying to trigger it. Type input view. Oh, cool. Is that EC? Check this one out. Type reshape. Oh, sweet. Look, well, you know, once it starts flowing, we got tons. Reshape. What else we got? Five E five E that looks the same. Yeah, those two are the same. Cool, we got some good stuff to go off of here. More pull requests? What do we got? Hello. Batch norm means with current ops. Oh, this is good. Why are the tests failing now? Oh, don't do this. No, 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 don't do this. Make it support the, uh, the op. I did it. Why? No, 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 this is, no, make it support the off. You can't do that. I learned about so many more A&E ops. Don't run this. What's your wrong with that?
For what? The singularity? In what? Oh, for coronavirus. I don't know. Coronavirus doesn't affect my life, so I don't think about it. Oh, yeah, we can compile these big plists. Let's compile input view.plist. Oh, that one compiles too. What a deal. Now let's hwx parse it and see what we get. Oh my god, look at the size of that. That was the hugest binary I've ever seen. Oh, that binary is massive. These plists are so complex. Wow, I can't believe reshape is an op. Input view is an op? What is an input view op? does anything. I like that rescale one. That looks dead simple though. Let's try plist, reshape, no, scale. Call like plist scaled? Yeah. Broadcast param scale. Scaled element wise. That looks simple. Call it conv layer, even though it's not. Actually, let's rename conv layer to my layer. This one can be called my layer. Scale type min type scaled element wise. Unescaped bottom. Why does it have two? I don't care about that. Let's call it my layer. And the bottom should be image. I don't understand why it has two. Oh, because it's min. Well, let's just type image twice. Is that compiled? Cool. Wow, it's longer. You know, just when you think you're going to write something simple, it's longer. It's massive, boys. It's massive. It's huge. It's two ops. Six FA is there. Wait, wait, why does that start at hex ten? I don't know what's broken about that. Did I make a did I write bugs? Is there a bug in HWX parse? To zero one? Oh, we should get rid of that. Oh, this isn't right. So all those numbers are actually off. I mean, they're not off by a ton, but let's change them. 
So these are three, 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 four. This is seven, seven, eight. This is not two o four anymore. It's one f four. This is one f four and one f eight. Those become twos. That becomes a four, and those become sixes. All right. That seems right. Can we get rid of that because that's just a lie. Yeah, so these are the ops. Um, so this is a two op. Despite it just being a single reshape, it compiles it into two ops. Uh, what if I only do that? Does that still compile? No. Um, Just private for why it fails. Oh, yeah. That's actually it. Like, it looks so simple, but it's two ops. That's a tensor op right there. Good ops, broadcasted output. Right. Yeah, more green sounds good. All right, let's try reshape. Maybe that's simpler than scaled element wise. Name is my layer. Bottom is image. Output type is float 16. Let's say reshape channel is three. These unescaped ones we don't really need. Okay, does this compile? Oh, it compiles. Okay, this is a no op. Let's run it and confirm it's actually a no op. Yeah, look. It just passes this guy into that guy. It's a no op. I guess we can reshape and change the size. Okay, so that's how you get from a com to a no op. Save this as no opt up test. Mm. Is that really an opt up or a daily op? Uh, you can take it. <laughs> I have days of battery in my. I'm a little cold. Change the name to my layer. So now we have no opt list.
Yo, could I like go like that? Does that work? Can do that. Um, does it have to be a no op? What if I tell it that the output type is int date? Does that work? No, you can't reshape an int date and make it a not int date. Uh, compile. Fail to add an input ready. Ah. Error, reshapes input output layer format should be matched. Oh, that's nice. I love when they give you good errors. Okay, so that is how you turn a conv layer. This is a conv layer, and that's a no op layer. A lot of the stuff seems very simple. Do I even need weights anymore? I shouldn't, but I bet it's gonna be like, you don't have a weights array, I don't know it works. But if you get rid of the layer, it's like, oh, you don't have any layers, so you have to have some layers. But your layer can be a total no op, like this reshape. change wait why is model hwx so big now oh look at all this crap included this huge const section which just does nothing it's a lot of zeros let's just try this experiment briefly all over the place. Yo, the reshape engine is actually a convolution. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, why not? Do a convolution, right? Why not? So I guess wherever it's different is like where the, uh, or just thinks of everything in terms of convolutions. So whatever's not specified is where the weights used to be. Is it like 70 or something? I don't know what those 81s mean. Do I think do I think we'll we'll try to do you think we'll hit the singularity with the M1 chip? I don't know how many viewers we got. Let's check. 485. Oh, that's that's not so many. Oh yeah, so this is reverse engineering. Does it look like fun? Do you guys want to be reverse engineers when you grow up? Do this. You know, I think that this stuff is actually weights. This big const layer. That doesn't really make sense, I guess. I mean, yeah. Is, wait, yo, you know what I'm realizing? 
Can the neural engine only do one thing? Like maybe the neural engine can literally just do this one op a ton of times. And this is the only struct you have to reverse engineer. And it's always the same. Like I think it is. What's Zimmer? Wait, is this related to the fact that this is called Zim? Does an Apple, do they have a tool called Zimmer that you're using? <laughs> I don't know if that's what he's referring to. Well, let's Google it. Zimmer. I don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. Someone said he's using Zimmer to follow along. And the thing is called uh, Zim, the, 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 the op. Oh, you mistyped. No, he misspelled time. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, it seems like there's only this one op, which is kind of great for reverse engineering. Right, let's not actually call that no op. Uh, let's get MV no op. We'll call it reshape no op. Dot blessed. Okay, so that's a reshape. Net is a convolution. Convolutions can support this bias thing. Oh, this was just changed with the bias too. Ah, that might be the weights type. Is that, is that what I had that as? Yeah, it's kernel type, look. And the kernel type here is, z is, 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 is zero. Because you know, if you're gonna do a, yeah, why, why convolve it with anything complex? Okay, it literally looks like there's just this one struct and you can stack them. Um, let's do reshape knob twice dot blessed. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's do a conv and then a reshape. CP, min.plist, min with reshape.plist. Min with reshape.plist, split reshape, copy my layer down here, go. Call it reshape layer. The bottom is my layer. The main is reshape layer. The bottom is reshape layer. Now we have another one here called reshape layer. Oh, well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Why do anything? Unless I made that same bug that I made before. I guess it was just wrong. Oh, uh, I did that same thing before, didn't I? Bottom image, bottom my layer. It's doing nothing.
Okay, well, it just combines them into nothing. Let's call the bottom here image. Huh, okay, this doesn't work. Did I do something else wrong? Interesting that if I set that there, add symbol alias. I mean, yeah, we have a super fast comp. But it really does look like this neural engine is one. Right, let's get rid of this min with reshape. It's useless. Let's look at what, what were the other things that we got, we found. Whatever a GOC is, which gets combined. Uh, I don't know what an input view is. Reshapes are only interesting if they're alone. It's just a no op. We look for some more. Should we go fishing for more. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh, this is just a GOC. That's kind of cool. It's 5e. Oh, type neuron. Oh, even better. Oh, we're finding, we're finding gold now. Oh, nice. Oh, neuron. I'm very excited about that. Oh, I love that I found this test. It's that one. Let's see what's here. Type, no, it's just another neuron. All right, neuron, neuron is exciting enough in its own to stop fishing. Chone, Taylor, star. Pseudo Chone, Taylor, star. But neuron. Add that to my list of types. Neuron. Oh, look at how exciting this one is. But 
but again, it's probably going to be something very similar to reshape, just yeah. Okay, let's make reshape the uh, the default one again. So we'll make the no up the default one. Yeah, okay. That adds neuron stuff to it. Cool. So it's really very similar to reshape. It's just uh Yeah. Same op again. I bet you can combine all of these together. What if I type like type equals ReLU? Not a type. Just X. What if I get rid of the two? Not a type. What other types do we know about? Concat's a type. Wow. Okay, we learned about a new type. Oh, this is great. Every time we go fishing, we get a type. Concat sounds boring, though. Concat. Let's go fishing more. Fishing so much fun. Fishing. We're, I found this test suite for the neural engine, so I run it and I just see what we get. All right, so that's just a reshape input, reshape output. Okay, that's boring. Concat, more concat. Where'd my mouse go? Charge? I should have added it to here before we committed. All right. Wow, two inputs. This is crazy. GOC seems simple. That does nothing? Oh, because I put the reshape back. Oops. Yeah. Wow, radically different.
Those numbers are gone. Hmm, look right down there. That's where those two scalars live. So if I look there, oops, sorry. No. Three F three F E two and five O forty. You see they show up right there. Okay. So we can fill that in. I called 3EF2 is the bias scalar. Change that to 3 and we can confirm it changes. Okay, so I expect to see E1 there instead. E1, boom. Okay. So equals bias scalar. Seems like one basic op repeated. So how is this Apple Neural Engine 16 cores? You see 16 cores? I don't see 16 cores, do you? And look, that 30 is gone. Hmm. All those 80s and stuff are gone. Okay. Apple put in small print 16 cores divided by 100. Where? <laughs> 1.6 cores. Wait, is that not a troll? A GOC big difference. Conv. Wait, what isn't conv build? Oh, really? Did I break it? How did I break it? Oh, I know how I broke it. Yeah, needed weights. Okay, given what we know, let's take a quick look inside Ghidra and see if we can find any of this stuff. 
I suspect we should be able to. We'll look in the A&E compiler. It just creates this op, and hopefully we can find a beautiful definition of this op struct somewhere. And then we can just make our own ops, and we can integrate it with TinyGrad. so complicated. Mm. A neural engine. It has lots of weird functions. One core equals one transistor. That's good troll. This thing sucks. But yeah, the, also, by the way, this is definitely some deep hardware. It's not, uh, it's not, I looked at the firmware, it doesn't do anything. Let's look for some strings. Oh, my Gidra's over here. Okay, that's espresso. Yeah, so here's the, here's the stuff. And those are the, uh, those are the, let's just like grep around for something like input row stride. Any compiler and espresso match. Okay, well, that's not that useful. Let's try a bias scaler. Again, any compiler and espresso. So, I mean, I kind of think this is, uh, here we go, like what is this? Is in IR kernel. Here we go, Zin GOC layer. That kernel data is in near A and E kernel. Add weights to SHA. Sparse weights.
get weight dimensions. So like, is that what those things are? Are those the weight dimensions? At like 38, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's that low level. Where's the thing that actually writes these out to disk? Because this creates these HWX files. A reverse garbage collector demo, it just makes garbage. Somewhere deep in this thing, if we can understand it, is all of this stuff. And it should like correspond with these numbers. So look at like output channels. Nothing mentions output channels, okay. Scale scalar? Nothing mentions scale scalar. If I put like the op names in here, it works better. Let's try reshape. Let's try neuron, that's a good one. And we can find exp2. Where's my strings and stuff? No, we're here. Uh, fun MPE libs strings and e compiler grab x two x. Find that string. Oh no, I did minimum length five. What? Sweet, these are all our options. Let's try some of them. Neuron is pretty close to a no op. What if I change, here we go, these look like things we can change it to. there. Okay. 11 is neuron type. D8 is log 2. Okay. 
Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. How is tan H the same as X2? Someone's getting scammed. Sigmoid's the same too, never mind the stuff's not right. Oh, it must just be the programming a lot. Yeah, look at this. Mmm, yeah, yeah, here's the crap. So that's what the difference has to be. Oh yeah, look, it looks different. It's the programming a lot. I don't know why log two gave me a different thing. Is it a lot longer or something? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you guys saw the thing that changed, right? It's this. Debug detail print. Oh, look at this. Oh. Okay, I love this debug detail print function. in reshape layer debug default print. How do I use this? Can I pass this stuff into the compiler and get it to debug print? Descriptor to stream. Okay, maybe I maybe that was the only actual good one, and the rest of these are crappy. I don't know. Maybe I can enable it somehow. I should be calling the compiler, right? located in. It's in here. Yeah, here we go. I'm just calling this function.
look at this function. Oh yeah, that's a good type right there. I just want to find out if we can pass in any p-value stuff. What if I tell the target architecture is the H11? Does that work? Does that give me the same file. Oh, look at the tiny one. If the target architecture is the H11. Look at that. Um, and actually, let me just, uh, instead of net.plist, let's say simple reshape.plist. Oh, that doesn't compile. Failed to add an input ready private layer. So that's the H11 output, and that's the H13 output. They added a lot of crap. Oh, can I run the H? Let's run it. I wonder if I can run, I wonder if it's backward compatible. Probably not, but it may be. Okay, so that runs. Oops, and now it's crashed. <laughs> well, this is good to know. So wherever the front end is, ah, Zin IR target H13 is where the interesting thing is going to be. Oh yeah, we're still looking for like debug options. It's like next to that one. Port network, network weights, looks like errors. Options file path, externs. Wait, my cam's frozen? Oh, yo. Is that what happens when you crash a kernel? Uh, let me see.
What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't run eight. <laughs> if you try to run, um... Yeah, if you try to run H11 shit, it crashes your... Ooh, we can compile for the H12 as well. Good thing we have an H13. Hmm. What about H10? There's an H10? What about... J10. Oh, so basically everything but H13 does like, yeah. Why does that have H13 in it? Oh, that's a scam H13. That's just because it happens to be 13. What's this? Get parangs. Zin near interchange format, Zin IR how, what? complexity of this thing. Apple put all this time into it and it can't even compile values good. It's dark, yeah. It's almost TV time. This is good, to yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe the value is leaking. No, I'm not really true. It does seem to work with those things. It actually seems pretty flexible. You can use these LUTs. All right. Cogen TDS. Like, what is this function? Do you see anything that looks like a normal, like, oh, I'm going to output some code? Oh, out of memory during code gen. Wait, I did this last time. How do I? All that. I don't know what gifting emote says. Oh, Alexius of Twitch. Thank you, Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk just joined our, just joined Twitch. What's up, Elon? Your neural engine's better, I think. I don't know, maybe it's the same kind of crap. Should we write some benchmarks now that we know how to do comps and see how fast we can do comps? Wait, it can't be the real Elon. <laughs> I don't know. 
Elon Musk, account created March 14th, 2014. Maybe it's the real Elon. All right, cool. Welcome to my Twitch channel. <laughs> um, so we're trying to... Uh, this is the Apple Neural Engine. We're trying to reverse engineer it. Uh, if Elon's here, we'll try to explain good stuff, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so we've broken it down into, this is like the way models go through this thing. Apple exposes nothing uh, below this level, below the core ML model. They have this other library called ML Compute, but ML Compute doesn't support the ANE. There is some code to do it, but I haven't been able to trigger it. So. Um, this is the Core ML model, uh, which Apple, like Core ML is Apple's library. It's compiled by this uh, Espresso thing into a plist file, which we were playing with. And then it's compiled by this thing called a &E compiler into these HWX files. Um, HWX is a binary file format that seems to be hex 300 blocks. And these are like ops for the neural engine. So you want to do like one convolution, it's a hex 300 block. And then depending on which things are turned on and which things are turned off, uh, it does different things. Um, so that is what we have. So my MacBook has an H13 chip. Uh, well, okay, so we want to compare and contrast it to the Tesla one. Um, the Tesla one does all of its comb ops and matrix multiplications in int 8, and then accumulates in int 32. This thing appears to have Int date, uint date, and float 16 options. I think they're normal float 16 from what I can tell. Yeah, Alex loves her light. So this is the ANE compiler, which is the thing that actually generates the HWX files. So somewhere deep inside this huge mess of, oh, look at all these other things we can target. We can target H13, we can target H12, M9, T0, H11. So these must have been all of Apple's crappy little neural engine chips. So they have the same neural engine chip in the iPhone too. Um, and nobody really knows anything about it, but it's nice that I now they now have one in the M1 so I can play with it on my M1. So these things are not just uh, hypothetical. If you want, I can actually run this network over here with this, which runs it. Um, this is the program that runs it. It's in the three run directory. It is an IO, uh, it uses IO kit. You have to create some IO surfaces. You pass them into it. And then you do a program send request. And there's these other really cool commands uh, that let you poke registers and stuff, but you need PE, I can has debugger, and I've been too lazy to enable that. See guys, look, I explain stuff nicely. Do you guys follow along now? What's this A that out program? Do you want a real answer to that? Are you trolling or do you want a real answer to that? 
you know what, like if you didn't know, you might like really ask that question. <laughs> wow. Well, they're saying good things or bad things? Are, are the facts like lies in our favor or lies against us? like George Watts is a very interesting guy who does not like Tesla at all. Well, you know. He runs in the Twitch channel right now, apparently. And his company called Comma AI already raised $3 million. Like, oh. Hey, we raised a lot of merchandise. It's just weird. Hey, just because people have blue check marks doesn't mean they're informed. That's not that many. Her, her resume account doesn't have a face. It's just called blood. <laughs> <laughs> Only when Elon is here we explain things. <laughs> I think someone just gifted a Twitch sub to like Elon Musk on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> My left testicle has a blue check mark on Twitter. Hmm. Wish I could zoom the whole screen out. What do you mean? I need more pixels. We should buy a good monitor for here. Hmm. Buy a good monitor. You should just give me your credit card and I'll buy you all the things you want. No, I don't want things, Alex. I don't like things. You can have a nice monitor at my house, but I'm not buying another one. I already have one. Then everything is what? No, I'm not going to make you buy a monitor. It's just like a hypothetical, like something that should should uh, happen. I know, and I'm telling you, I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, why? We need like lots of pixels. Like, there's not enough pixels. If I had more pixels, I could actually read these things. I can buy a monitor, Alex. I'm capable of doing some things. You are? Mm hmm. Yeah. A lot of sketchy stuff on your resume. Yeah. I just emailed my grad student at MIT Technology Review. What? That article. Oh, you're reading about that shit? She bullied Don Lacuna off Twitter. Twitter thug. Talking about how much energy it takes to run the big models and how the carbon footprint of big models. <laughs> I mean, you know. Have you seen how much our power bill is? Should we, should we build more efficient chips? You know what's a more efficient chip? A100. We should demand NVIDIA for the good of global warming, make them cheaper. <laughs> All right, what monitor should I buy? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. This monitor, like, I just, I wanna zoom out. You know, can I do that? No, I mean, I don't think I can make the resolution be, uh, scaled. No, I can only make it crappier. Odyssey G9, that's what everyone's saying? All right, let's see what an Odyssey G9 is. Oh, what about the one you've got for Rode? Is Odyssey, well, yeah, but that one's Rode, is Odyssey G9. Wait, is that seriously that? What? Look at these terrible reviews. Why would I buy one? Oh, wait, that is the one we have for Robe. Wait, really? Get the LG 5K. I have the LG 5. I have an LG 5K. I could just bring it over here. The one at the office? No, my one at home. 
in my house. Which house? Here? San Diego? Yeah. My monitor. I have the LG5 guy. All right. All my homies hate Tim Nip Jibberu. <laughs> I, I have no opinion on her. You know, I think that uh, you, 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 you muck around and shit and the shit, and, you know, just what do they say about that? Wokeness, not even once. Ooh, Apple 6K. Ooh, 6K Apple. Okay. Oh my god, I don't have $5,000 to spend on a monitor. I'm not buying this crap. Hey, I'm rich. I'm not that rich. Not stupid rich, you know? That's stupid rich. Uh, I get woke, go broke. I have heard that. Um, you like Delmar? We like, I think Delmar's work. They're nice. With the LG 27, yeah, that's literally what I have at home. What? I'm just going to go bring, I'm going to bring that monitor here. I never use it at home. You hate that light? Yeah, I'm figuring out how to do it. 6K don't refer to pixels, but the price. Oops. Okay, where is the actual light? Let's search for code gen. Zin A N E code generation. Here we go. Add A N E operation. Okay, is this is this it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's just look for some of these constants. They have to exist. Undefined eight plus four. Okay, well, wait. wait. It's, it's, it's almost this, though. This, this looks like something. We're getting somewhere. Look at that four. Is there a four in here? You see a four? Not that four. This four. Is that that four? That could be that four. Is that aligned right? No, it's not even aligned right. Never mind. This almost looks like something that like assigns stuff, but yet it's not right. Is there a 21? Add A and E operation. IR code gen. Single kernel data. This one good? IR kernel view, Zen IR kernel view, serialize. Create const date serializer. Oh my god. Date kernel. Oh, you know what else is appears everywhere? This crap. 01 30 20 31. Can I find that? Um it's not a string I want to find. Program text. One one thirty one oh. Selected field. I don't know. Great. Not found. 
Can I search for that in binary? I saw, God, I don't know how to use Git draw. Program text for matching instructions for direct references. And if we can find what plugs that in, that, that'll get us somewhere. Zin A&E code generation. Just, I really like the name of that, you know? Zin compute mutable program add procedure. Code on your smart TV. Maybe that's the move. All right, what are we calicing and how long is that? And what is the best language and why is it JavaScript? TD Hardware V5. Hardware V6. Oh, validate network. Oh, you know what Zin might be? Zin might be the name of the P list shit. Mir might be the other shit. Zin Mir, ooh, ooh, L2 strides, oh. Calculate Convres L2 strides. Mir can merge scale bias, okay, this is better. What is this crap? Strings? Have no bias, no weight, but singular scale. Zinmir IR activation V7. Let's look at that. Hmm. 
What's this crap? Get ABS custom lot. Oh. Oh, get get sign lot, get Dirac lot. Oh, is there a get exp2 lot? Well, okay, here's the tan H lot. Um, oh, this is exciting. Okay. Get sign lot. So I think if I compile neuron, simple neuron and HWX parse, and then I edit simple neuron, and instead of saying x2, I say sign. And then we look here. Yeah, look at this. Let me make sure I'm not in the way of any of that. Let me, where is my camera placement right now? Right look at this. 3C, BC. 3C, BC. Ah. Ah. So exciting. Ah. Sign, Zinmir activation, get sign lot. And that means we finally found something that's actually being outputted in the HWX file. All right, look at all these LUTs we can get. We can get Dirac LUTs, post scale LUTs, LU LUTs. So many LUTs. What's a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table. Yeah, LUT, lookup table. Yeah. Oh, look here, we can print lots. Ooh. Cool. All right, near. Near is the trick. Knew it was a lot. Zinmir activation from E7 print lot. Mm, look at that. Yeah, we just figure out what's actually being passed in there. Oh, that's good progress, boys. All right, so this Zinmir stuff is a good place to look for things then. How many people at Apple 
must work on all of this. There's an insane amount of code here, and it does less than tiny grad. I need something like Zinmir IR code gen. Thought something exciting happened. Um, New York City just got nuked. Dark. <laughs> I mean, that would be exciting. That wouldn't be good, but it would be exciting. Don't say inappropriate things. We're on Twitch. Get woke, go broke. We can't reveal to them how woke we are. Zinmir A.N.E. Colonel. You're now cooking? Oh, I love green onion pancake, but they're not good for you. And I eat them and I like them, but that's not good for you. Why don't we just eat more tortellini? What Zin Mir IR matrix malt? Okay, this Zin Mir stuff doesn't look like it's really going anywhere too exciting. Mm. Mir, prepare IR failed. Mir generation failure, okay. Zin A N E core compile generates mir. Yeah, I was number 20 on Advent Code until I didn't do well yesterday. Oh, you got that at night? Always. You gonna play? You should play. You can play Advent Code. I'll check it out. I think good for you. Zin A-N-E Code Generation. But I think I already ate a lot of tortellini. Okay. I have some original shaolong baos.
सेक्स पीस का Where's the shit that actually outputs things? For all we know, it's like mirror two now. Oh, well, good thing there's a zing mirror ew copy optimizer. Zinmir handle flatten layer. Zinmir opt. Zin IR dot gen. Oh, what is this? Zin IR graph before fusion. Are there intermediates from the compiler that we can output? Zin visualization? Oh, this is exciting. How do we turn this stuff on? There's got to be ways to just enable. There's got to be ways to just enable stuff in here, like debug modes. Like you know that crap from the kernel. We can just see it in strings of any HWX. This. Like th13. Wait, wait, wait! I have an idea. What if I you want to try some command injection? What if I do that? No, don't. Oh no, it just falls back to H11. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if I had a big monitor and could actually see that? Okay, here we go. Debug. How do I turn on debug? Oh look, there's O0, O1, F no context switch. How do I turn on debug? Oh, I want debug so bad right now. Debug, you know? Zin Ank compiler. These are args. Args. Error. Invalid option to F spatial split. How do I pass any options in anywhere? String to spatial split mode. What? Okay. There has to be a way to pass in arguments. Flags dictionary. So here's a flag dictionary called target architecture. We just need to add to flags. I'm sure there's something we can just add to flags dictionary and it's going to work. And we're going to get debug information that you wouldn't believe. Apple's just going to like, it's going to be like a hex dump and it's all going to be annotated. Guys, I need you to channel this with me, you know? Oh. Good on. 
architecture. I will just do debug. Debug. Yes. <laughs> you think that's gonna work? Debug mode, no! <laughs> Wait, but no, I wanted to say debug mode, yes! <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> I was trolling with that, uh, with that yes, but oh, it's almost right. Why does it say no? Don't say no, say yes. Oh, debug mode, yes! Oh, how do we get it to say yes? Okay. If ZinIR compiler parameters zero, ZVAR 20 is zero, debug mask, hmm. I make an integer. Input networks, output file name. So there's something called options file path. Good options. Good dot options. Debug equals yes. Debug equals yes. Debug equals big yes. Debug equals one. Okay, I don't know about good options. Wait. What's that zero that's being passed in? What if I just pass in a one? Oh, it wasn't debug mode. <laughs> oh, it's seg faults now. What are these swap files? Empty. Debug equals minus one, debug equals on. No, I don't know if this stuff's working at all. Try externs. Swag. No, it crashes. Back to the second. Oh, we can't put one there. Oh, 
swag doesn't work. Oh, but that's interesting because it did. That externs is a real thing. All right, how do we turn on debug mode? Dude, I love Scrally, man. Okay, disable register packing. Disable network imbalance analysis. Oh, here, okay, let's try like disable merge scale and bias. See if we can enable that. Uh, CF bool. I don't think you can just do that. CF bool. CF boolean. They're used as wrappers. KCF Boolean true. Now ah, look, disable merge scale and bias is one now. So that works. Okay, now just how do we enable debug mode? Disabled. Enable aggressive tensor caching. Do we want that? Let's just grep it for debug. Debug detail print. What do we think of that? Debug mask. Debug no. How do I create a KCF number? CF number? Oh, here we go. How do I create a CF number? Oh, perfect. CF number create. Oh, I'm going to love this. Yes. CF number create. I have to pass in, of course, the KCF allocator. Oh, I need to know the CF number type. Oh, what's the CF number type? Oh, let's check all the CF number type possibilities. Oh, oh don't you love this? Oh, yes. Debug mask. Do you ever write anything in Objective C? No, I'm not okay. Unsafe raw pointer. You want a charger? You can take. Debug mask zero. Oh no, I have a bug. You can't, of course, the S32 int types is defined in Mac types.h, which I'm gonna have to include. Now, of course, this isn't gonna work going to be like, you don't have a Mac types.h. Oh, I do, but for some reason it's actually not in there. Oh, wow. Guess what? Three. You yeah, fucked. Debug mask one. But we're not in debug mode yet. Oh, 
Look at all that debug mask. Oh, look at all those things that are private. That must have been the debugs. Oh, we just have to disable private. Oh, I know a way to disable private. LLDB A dot out. Oh, no. So where did it, oh, look at that! Yo, look at all this shit. Oh, look at all the outputs. Oh, we're rich, boys, we're rich. We must have just gotten those. Okay. Oh, nice. Debug mode's not even on. Oh, yo, I'll just show them you right here. Debug, we got debug, all right. Um, that's probably okay. Not like the eggs that expired, you know, 17 years ago. <laughs> all right, look at all these debug, what are we gonna do? Oh, boom, look at this, font face, aerial, rounded, bold. Oh, they're dot files. Oh, shit. It's a dot file. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys want to use dot and we can look at them? Okay. Oh, model HWX Reg Alec. Oh, let's see. Oh. oh, we didn't use much. How about perf stats? Section symbols? Ah. Oh. Context switch lock. Weird. Debug. I view a dot file. What are these things? Type comv live in scale bias live out.
the stuff doesn't even look that great. We worked super hard to get it, and it seems kind of just like junk. Well, it's a compiler. It's not showing me like. Oh, yeah, good point. You guys know the dot. Uh, brew install dot. Okay. Zen IR graph. After regalic? Are there even registers? Graph is. It's like it's gonna, no, it's got to no, it's installing Python. No, it's installing Swig. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, don't tell me that broke Python. Sometimes it breaks Python. Okay. Um, online dot viewer. Ah, graph is online. Now we're talking. That's good. Now how do I put it in the clipboard? Mac cat to clipboard. PB copy, that's it. PB copy. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh, look at that. All right. Format. Ping? C could it like format things a little better? I feel like Apple wouldn't do this. Mm, Nikon fused Nikon. Horse channel reuse, desk channel reuse, depry. Oh, after mirror builder, let's say. So useless. This is the biggest one. So we're just looking, okay. Fuse kernel, is os, dill. Oh, TID. You relax your shoulders. Yeah, any link you can follow? You guys can check that out. It's committed now. We're getting boobs or not? No, it took too long. We're making more toilet beans. Mmm. Yeah, I'm good to get it out. Um, and oat milk chia pudding. Ooh. Neato. FDP? Something render it better. Circo? Twappy? Great, download that crap. Per count bias. <sighs> the 
This still isn't debugging how I want, but that was pretty good. I think it's that last debug flag we don't have. Debug mask. How do I set debug mode? Oh, on e.or.net. Oh, let's check that. e.or.net. Look a little better. I like this website better. Thank you. Oh, that's before we hoist. Oops. Oops. I mean, it seems this seems actually pretty useful. We could figure out like which, I don't understand what S and D are, but we could figure out like which things correspond to S and D. Hint DRAM interleave one. Um, let's try to enable that last debug. I want to put it in debug mode. So wait, debug, oh, debug detail print, is that it or no? No, that has nothing to do with that. <coughs> I'll compile A and E program for debugging. Debug mode, yes. All right. I'm not sure if it changed anything, but we got it to say yes. Is that the same as what's committed? That's exactly the same as what's committed. That did nothing. <laughs> Wait, 2.9K, is that watching right now? Oh, that stars on Tinygrad. Oh yeah, everyone star that Tinygrad voice. Um, okay, we turned debug mode on and we set the debug mask to something insane, so. I think that's all the debugging. Just Zen IR isn't all that exciting. Still don't have the thing that we want. Oh, okay, so these are the dot files. And we are actually saving them. Okay, so this is in Zinmir Prepare IR. Is there any of them we're not getting?
No, we're getting them all. Uh, oh, well, should I move the... Yeah, we'll go there. So the shit's in Zinmir prepare IR. But it just prepares the IR. I want to debug when we output the IR. I mean, I think I would get the same thing out if I did not H13. Oh, well, this is something. No, max cycles per woo. Estimated time. Oh, it's going to take negative E minus second. L2 broadcast, KDMA, RDMA, WDMA. Okay, that's interesting. Perf stats. That looks useful. That was sarcasm. Ben Kunkel, thank you for subscribing. What's Tiny Grad in one sentence? It's PyTorch, but tinier. It's after engine lowering? Oh, good thing we lowered the engine. Yeah, there we go. Someone read the description. Thank you. Oh, I think I got excited about that one before. Oh, let's just string all this crap and see if like anything's good. Mm. What's per count bias? That's interesting. It's probably much more interesting if you're compiling non-trivial programs. You're still trying to figure out the one assembly op. The type is a knee fused conv. Let's grab mirror. Ooh, network after mirror builder. Do we have that? We do. And it's just as unexciting as the rest of it. Okay, I guess I really don't know what I was expecting. Where's the code, Jen?
unknown kernel format and code gen. You see, you think you see something like that, and you're like, oh, that's going to lead to something exciting. And then you look at it, and it's just reams of C++. Like I said, reams of C++. Get kernel format. Zin kernel format. A-N-E config kernel format. Do I have Zin kernel formats? Is that those things that I was figuring out? Those are Zin IR ops. Mm, television. That sounds right. Element wise should have been replaced before code gen. Okay, you know what we could start doing too? We can actually, like, this is running in our process. We can just debug it. Yeah, maybe that's the right move. Okay, get kernel format, never called. Good to know. Code gen. Zin A N E code generation. Let's try that. Oh, okay. This one gets called. Anic compile procedure, anic core compile. God, we had a debugger. like junk. Uh, oh, I know what we're going to do. Let's build Neuron, and let's put a breakpoint on the LUT. Oh, hell yeah, boys. Oh, this is going to... Oh, we're ready for some slam dunk shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Neuron. Remember when we discovered that sign LUT shit? Yeah, 
documented it, didn't I? Yeah, get sign lot. Break get sign lot. Compile simple neuron. Oh, it didn't call get sign lot. What? How did it not call get sign lot? It had to have called get sign lot. But it outputted a sign lot. I don't get it. It literally outputted a sign lot. Show, okay, how do I show breakpoints? No, no, this doesn't make sense. Show breakpoints. LLDB. Break count, info break. Oh, breakpoint list in LLDB. Wait, but that's right. Our simple neuron P list. How is it getting that if it's never calling the function that makes it? What do you mean that's the getter? Still should have to be called, right? Externally. Doesn't make sense. Okay, well. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. Move on. Neuron. Zin parse neuron unit. Zin parse neuron unit. Okay, that got called. Um, what is it called? Oh, there's a nice way to like print it. What, what, I was doing it before. Does anyone remember how to do that nice print of like CF dictionaries? Uh, info registers PP. Register list. Register show. Register. Read. Uh, yeah, it was like PPX0. How do I print? The nice print. Not register read. I did it last stream. PO. Yo, you guys know. Um, what? Dollar sign? Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so that's being called with neuron unit.
First we call parse non unit, then we call code generation. under Zinan and core compile. Uh, I'm just thinking of Cornelia Street. No, no. Can't do that to my torchies. Where are things going after this code generation? Oh, I do need more model for my key. Mm, okay, code gen handle kernels. I think that's called. Oh, code gen handle kernels is called. Oh, it's called by underneath Zen INE code generation. All right, cool. Hmm. What is this thing called? Zen IR code gen handle kernels? Oh, yeah, let's go deeper. No, no, that's the same thing. Where does it output the HWX file? I'm sure we can find that. Like, this is a normal process. Your eye twitching? Oh. How do I do uh, that? How do I put a breakpoint with a wildcard? R break. I don't think that's right. Oh, cool. It is right. Okay, code gen TDS. Okay, after ZenIR code gen handle kernels. Get to code gen TDS. Just underneath. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting. What is that?
Thanks for the question. Thank you. Oh, what is this? That looks like some debug shit. Need TID, eh? TDS make list and relock. keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Fit that up. Okay. Cash hint table. Code gen value to register. Here we go. Oh, handle any legger. Set kernel DMA source. Wow, zin a n e t d handle engine layer. Oh, we are going deep, boys. We are going deep. How does anybody write any of this code? Like, okay, so. You call the compiler, it calls core compile, it calls code generation, which calls code gen TDS, which calls zinir code gen handle TDS, which calls zinir code gen handle TDS make list, which calls handle engine layer, which calls handle NE layer, which calls set kernel DMA source. Handle kernel ZM DMA source config. Do you know what I mean? How does anyone write this? Oh, okay, the data type might be a Zin A and E instruction. Oh, I like this. Okay, let's focus on this handle engine layer. So Zen A any instruction register read zero. Let's no, that can't be zero. One of these has to be an actual 
Maybe it's in any instruction. One of these actually has to be the struct that is uh... here we go. This is the constructor for zin a and e instruction. Ah, okay. Is it that destructor? Handle TDS make list. Oh, is that the same shit that I've seen in the... FF90, no, that's not it. We put a lot more effort in than micrograd, to be fair. Zinir cogen TD common. Okay. Are we getting anywhere with this? I did it. I was off by one. This is the A&E instruction. That's the unsigned long. Ah, okay. So now we're calling handle engine layer on an A&E instruction. Those, those are pointers. Oh, what's that? That's a string. Probs output source. That's another string. Rob's output. Where's the actual data? More strings. My layer op engine layer any bypass fused any bypass. bunch of strings. How do we get to what's actually like the thing? Reading toward Lini's over there?
No, it's not stripped. Don't read patents ever. Patents are evil. Don't read patents ever. Then it becomes willful infringement. Um, Here we go. Look at all these Zin A and E instruction things. It's a titty header. Okay. Zin A and E instruction underneath. Titty header, titty header. Oh, underneath here we handle the titty header. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know our break was a thing either, and then I Googled it. Um, handle any layer. Oh, neural engine layer? Handle common config. Config common op codes, eh? Wow, that's so deep. Zin any layer. Common config, common op codes, eh? <coughs> op layer op code is not supported. Oh, op code to string? Wait, 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 wait. The whole time there was an op code to string function? Why don't I just call it? Breakpoint on it? Wait, no, it's my dream. Let's call this. This is a beautiful function. It doesn't say it returns a string, though. I assume it's never actually called, right? That would be too good if it were called. Break, run, simple, neuron. No, it's not called. But we should be able to call it. Oh, Zen visualization. 
Oh, this is a wordy doing this. Zen IR dot node. This is the debug shit. Also, I think if I run it with debug shit, it maybe it's called. Yeah, okay, cool. Can I call it though? Mm. LLDB call function. Oh, X per maybe. Per. Yeah, we can't call longs, but if I cast it to something that's like, uh, what do I got to write? Void, void pointer int. I understand why I can't just do this. Undeclared identifier, but it's a symbol. Actually, no. Yeah, how do I print that? Okay, that works. Um, the expert cast to this. No, I want to cast it to a function type. C style cast from long to void void is not allowed. Oh, function cannot return type void. That's okay. Int? Function cannot return type int. I'm trying to return function type. I'm just trying to call it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this might be way easier than we thought. No. It's not void pointer function name. That's not going to let me call it. No, I hate C++. Called object type void is not a cast to function pointer. That's right. Oh, well, it crashed. That's okay. Oh, is it thumb? Is there even still thumb?
Hmm. Why doesn't that run? Actually, I can just read this. So I'm going to just look here for the list of opcodes. Pointer. Yeah, but that's not exactly right. What's that? Why is this returning a, why is this pointing into an error? 253, that shouldn't even be. 53 shouldn't even be a thing. I really don't understand why this doesn't work. Shouldn't that just branch and go to the string? I, I don't get that. That looks like valid arm code to me. You know, what's like the X turn C name of this function? That seems like something I want. Wow, because how is that not in there? O tool dash D A and E compiler. O tool. Uh, print the symbol table. Table of contents to the library. Print.
How do I use, how do I get O-Tool to do what NM does? What does NM work? No, I don't know what that NM is. Just don't type the zin part? No, it's not that. You think I can just do opcode to string? No, I have to just get the C name of it. Um, it's this here. But unfortunately, it has a stupid dot, dot, dot. I just, it's this. If I just get this, can I actually copy that? Cut? I don't want to cut. This will let me call it. I, you know what? I could probably tab complete this. There's a break point. Okay. O tool print symbols. O tool TV or NMG. I tried NMG. Tool T, functionality obsolete. Use objump dash T. Lowercase T. Grab. Pop code. Ah, okay, now we're talking. This. Ah, okay. All right, now I get the same stupid bad access, but at least... But can I just call this? What if I just link to it and literally call it? Mm. Link and call. Void function, eh? That's not a void function. It returns a string. But. All right, get ready. <sighs> what does it return? String, standard string. <coughs> this isn't even that useful, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm just mad that it doesn't work. Okay, I mean, it does help.
Oh, now the symbols are undefined, eh? But I put them as x turn c. Really? How come x turn c? Did I do x turn c wrong? A semicolon there? What? Never mind. I got the call, I just didn't. Oh, no shit. I was editing the wrong file. did mean std string. Thank you, compiler. Oh, got it, boys. Yeah, let's just throw this at the top. Uh, for int i equals 0, i less than 40, i plus plus. Get ready for some dumping. Dump. Dump. Oh, well, it gets comms because I passed in zero for all of them. But if I pass in ones, now we're going to get all the ops. Yeah, look at that. Woo. Oh, yeah. Which one do you want to use? A comv, a pool, a scale, a scale bias, perhaps? A. a can I interest you in a ternary dynamic GOC? Perhaps a kernel rasterizer. Hmm. All right, look, we got common pool right. And element-wise, right there. Look at that. Oh, are there any more opcode to string? Mm. I love opcode to string. It's my favorite C++ bullshit. Man, I pay, I pay good money for just a header file. You know, if someone from Apple wants to leak a header file, I would uh, like you to. Oh, we can do nonlinear mode to string too. Let's see what nonlinear modes are. Cool. Which one do you want?
All right, those are all those opcodes. Those are all those opcodes. Beautiful. We don't need any of this crap anymore. We can take that out of the compiler. Make sure that still works. All right. There's not even a Swift API. There's literally nothing. The Swift API is called CoreML, and you have no idea when you use CoreML if it actually ran on the A&E or not. No, no, no. You think if we just could have used Swift, I wouldn't use Swift? Do you think I'm a nerd or a geek or whichever one likes to do stupid things? This is for a real reason. And there's nothing in Objective-C. This boat sailed a long time ago, boys. Simple conquest. There we go. Okay. So now, I don't know. I mean, I still don't understand. Like, I don't think those are... I now do not think these things are anything to do with... I mean, they're nice. They're the Xenops. I agree with that. Like they're the Xenops, but I, I don't think. They're anything useful. Okay, well, we're still back to kind of where we were on this. Handle common config opcodes, eh? So we have a zin any layer. Well, actually, I think we can do a different layer. If instead of we, what if we just run net.plest? Interesting class is this Zin A and E instruction, I think. Handle common config, handle P config. Someone explain to me what this like 7u is and stuff. Does anyone know? I'm sure it's a normal C++ thing, I just don't know it.
the cash crap. And then the real function, which creates shit. Okay. This MacBook's got power for days. Are we an ad? Are we an Apple ad right now? Yeah. Huh. How do I get this out? That keep happening. Oh, how many boxes is Edie? How many boxes is Edie? Hmm. Maybe we should do a pre. Have to post it then. That sounds great. Is there a debugger for the A and E compiler? Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 running the debugger on it. Oh, do you want to set the breakpoint on those strings? I guess I could. Calculate size. Tmux and screen doesn't matter, but fuck Zish. Zish is a shell for losers. Whoever uses Zish is a loser. And I don't really feel that strongly about Zish, but someone's gonna be like, George talked crap about, about, about CRUD developers who write in React, and now he said that you can't use Zish. Do you program when you're sick? Yeah, of course. Why would I stop programming? Just because I was sick. You always gotta be programming. You wanna be great at something? You gotta do it. Look at Jake Paul, man. Guy's a boxer now. Can you believe that? Guy's a boxer. Some people talk shit about him on the internet. And he's like, I'll fight you. And he's like, Jake, Paul, that scrawny kid. And I'm like, look at him, man. I can't get over it. Okay, what are these mem copies? This seems somewhat interesting. This seems almost like it's outputting like real things. Oh, okay, add relock. What if I break on add relock? Oh.
Oh, wait, 40, 81, 81, 81. Oh, look at this 81. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's that. Yo. Oh, boys. Oh, we finally found something. We've hit gold on ad relock. Oh, this is gold. Look. If you dump... Yeah, okay, look. So when I dump this X4, I end up with this. There's also a string being passed into this function. X4 goes in the HWX. All right. So now let's, uh, let's just restart this. Uh, we're going to compile net.plist, and we're going to put a breakpoint on add relock, and now we're going to run it, and now we're going to dump x4. Okay. First relock. Yeah, is a bunch of 40s. Next relock, the 81 shit. Next relock, bunch of 40s. Oh, yeah, look at this one. This one's got to be in here, too. Yo, these 4040C0. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hex 4040C0. Forty forty. Okay, so that one starts there. Ah. All right, let's just figure out what that string says now. How do I... I mean, you know, please work. Uh, no, that's in our section. Image. Oh, this because this is a big string. K N E zero. Was this there the whole time? That's just the weights. Whoa, wait, what is this? Thirty-four hundred. No, it's boring. It's just this crap. Okay, these are boring names. Zen compute mutable section add relock. Zen compute program contain section. In IR context, build compute program.
those numbers in there? Of these numbers. Data. It's kind of junk, like it's kind of a wall here, you know? This is an IR context, this is an IR section. This is a string. That's getting output into the shit. Oh, maybe it's that range to D0. Yeah, because, okay, look, you get 40, 0, 81, 81, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Mm, okay. It's another copy of it. Oh, I get what this is. It's a reference to the kernel. This here is just a reference. And the reason the default one doesn't have any is because they don't need a reference because they're not doing anything. It's, that's the no op. Ah, OK. Okay.
Wait, is there any more of that? Can't be the same relock. Three three eighty one. Do we have that? I am just compiling the same thing, right? Net dot P list, right? So 40, 40, C0 is that. Forty, forty, C0 here. Oh, here, 8088. Yeah, yeah, here it is. I don't know what that first part is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, never mind. Thirty, eighty-eight, twenty-one, right there. At one C six is image. One six C. And it's only, it's only eight bytes. But all right, so you guys see what these things are? They're the pointers. This somehow is the pointer to where it puts the uh, image relock. Okay, last one. Probs output source. And then what range is the relock in? Short. It's only, whatever it says, C1. Right there. Two fifty eight. It looks like it's only four long. Okay, so that's it for the relocks. All right, now it knows how to find this is a pointer to the image. What 
What is this? It's a copy of that. Useless. What is that? That's the whole beginning of, this is the whole thing. Just look at this as this shit. I don't know what writes that header, but okay. So those things are relocks. So when it calls add relock, first it does that one, then it writes this shit out, then it writes that, then it writes that. Okay, like that makes a lot of sense, right? So sensible, this whole thing. Mm, starting to come together. So this is the kernel. This is like the, the struct that's going into the thing. It, though it doesn't look like it's just a single struct. It does look like it's more complex than that. I think maybe they are commands. We can break it down more. All right, where's the function that's calling them? What's it calling it with? Let's just try to read that code. What's up with all the poo poo vars? Poo 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 vars. There's mem copies. Yeah. Calculate size and bytes from reg count. Like, what type is this? Okay, this is it here. Let's make a struct out of this. Oh, God, what's it doing? All right, did I already do that? Is that undo? Undo. Yeah, way better than Ida. But yeah, I think this is the struck. Or at least this is input into something. Okay, so this is in a big loop. Not a loop, I guess, actually. First, we make a list, then we check it twice. All right, we got, we got 10 more minutes of stream. I think we made some incredible progress today on the neural engine. We almost understand what it is. Maybe if I knew C++, I'd be better at this. And the poo 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 bear.
Oh, maybe the Puvar 1 is the Puvar 27. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's this? Yeah, I think this Puvar one is the one we want. Did we put a break point there? Is that gonna work? No way. It's like relocked or some crap. Why can't I make a struct out of this? It turns it into Puvar too. It makes it Puvar one. I do think this is like the copy though, and this is what's filling in that structure. So it takes it from this other weird struct we don't understand and puts it into this struct. But this is like the assembler. Yeah. All right, I have an idea. Let's do one last thing. Let's put a breakpoint on zin ir cogen handle tds. Then let's wait till we hit it, and then let's put a breakpoint on memcopy and see where that this memory is actually getting copied to. See all these mem copies in here? No, I don't want to break point of mem copy. I take it back. I want this mem copy. How do I get this mem copy? Like step through this. Yeah. What is it in here? Okay. How badly do you want the breakpoint there? These LDRs and STRs. Or, why not? Yes. Okay. 
we're going to store it in x8. Register read dump x8. Step i. Starts with two. Starts with two. We're going to we're going to dump bytes. Yeah. 64. Starts with two. Okay. Step i. Oh no, I exited. Run it again, it'll work. Step I, 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 I. Uh, register read. And then here we look at X this. Yeah, okay, 422, 422 right there. There you go, okay. We found the function that fills in the beginning of the file. This is that whole, it's in that create function right here. A zero, zero, zero. This is the store of the first byte in the HWX. All right, does everyone see it? Zero, two, zero, two, four, twenty-two. We can step a few more. And then like, oh, look at that, FF is six FA. And look what's right there, FF six FA. So this tells us so much about the structure of the file. See this? says that the first 1C are a header, right? Because that's 1C. 0, 4, 8, C, 10, uh, 14, 18, and that's 1C. Header, 0 to 1C. Yeah, right? Now we have some other optional next 10. <coughs> and then we add a relock. really know what calculate size in bytes. Calculate size in bytes from reg count. Yeah, so that must, well, let's see what numbers we're passing in here. Yeah, this is nice. Pass an F. Pass an one B. Pass an eleven. X times four plus four. Three, four. So these are the registers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Six. That's it. So each one of these is a section. Yeah. All right. Now, now we're now. Oh, this is this is done, boys. This is done. We got to figure it out. All right. Run that. Now we're calculating bytes and size from stent so we can step I. We'll step through that function. Now we return to the first call there. Oh man, you know, I wish these things were like synced up and like were nice, you know? 
I could like, you know, go to that. That that'd be that'd be too convenient, you know? That'd just be too convenient. Is there a way to sync a good girl with my computer? Okay. Moves and then let's go, let's step to the mem copy. Um Okay, so where are we now? Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's find us with respect to the beginning of the file. So this first, what do you say? Let's see if we can find the beginning of the file. I'm gonna find that too. Is that 40, 422 is 422. Is that in there? 40. 020F45 right there. 6FA. Oh, 422 is right there. So subtract again. Yeah, we get to the bottom. So this is at 128. Something's at 128. Okay, once again, we're back to this. Um, print 27, I don't want that. 100, print slash X, yeah, 1B. So that's the 1B, step I. Here's the mem copy. Now register read, or actually uh, print x0 minus, no, print slash x, x0. We want to subtract that base, 16c. OK, continue. Step I, do we get to the mem copy? Print x0 slash the base this is at 1e0. E Continue. It's the three that's aligned. Go to the mem copy. 22C. Almost done. That is at 240. And that is at 258. Now let's see how that aligns with our other shit. So by the way, hex 4 times 4 plus 4 is 20. So there's probably some like header at 254. 254 is that. Um, by the way, just to confirm that we're actually talking about the right shit, yeah, C1, there you go, right there. I'm gonna move this up here. So this is this this right here is the single best thing in this file. Yep, and notice how it matches the relocks really well. That's the relock at image, then we have parameters about image. We have something at 128. Oh, okay. X128, 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 X
one C is a relock, hex, and then calculate size in bytes from a reg count. So actually, let's check something. Hex 128 plus 0xf plus 4 plus 4. What's that? Is that 168? Yes, it is. So now, well, from that 163, oh, I want to smoke some weed. See, it's child lock. My hand's not big enough to. Oh, aim Joe. To Joe, squeeze. I lost it having a cold you last night, man. Squeeze both sides and then lift. But I can't, my hand's too small to squeeze both sides. See the picture on the phone? Nope, they're too smart for me. If you squeeze, I'll open. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. What happened to you? I, well, I don't know. I lost having a cold last night. I did have to have I had, to, I had some beer at dinner, you know? I mean, I don't know if we can smoke weed and... I'm going outside. What? To smoke? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so each one of these, you see the pattern? Okay. So, it tells you how long it is and like where it gets copied to. Why are we adding hex eight? Does tell us how long the mem copy is. Nothing for a whole lot. That's a block there. That's a block. Can we like know the size at all? One E zero has nothing at it. 2C has nothing at it. 240 has 08. And then 258. I mean, okay, so let's see. 258 plus 6 times 4 plus 4. It's 274, so that's the end. Do like 128 plus F. That is actually only gets me to yeah, 168. So there must be some. There's a four byte header before these. Nothing there. Oh, wait, no, that's not exactly true. The 3C is part of. God, I can't, you know, I'm just going to modify HWX bar, so I can't read it. Um, okay, HWX bars. Make an FJ one range zero ten four uh, SS equals this is some admin code shit right here. Um,
There we go. Oh, much improved. Okay. So the 3C actually did come before. My dream is if there's like some length encoded in here. Six C is right there. That might be a length. Eighteen, is that a length? X eighteen, I believe so. Three C is a length. Okay, one sixty-eight plus three C. One sixty four. Okay. Now one sixty eight, one six C plus six C, one D eight. Just gets you to here. Okay. That's a length. Ho oh, ho, look at that. We can parse it. Um, okay, so wait, how long is the block actually? So it's 128 plus F times 4 plus 4, 360. Oh, I should, I should have checked the lengths to mem copy. We can do it again. We can just check one and then, like, I think we have it. hex 40. Is that what we expect? We do hex f times 4 plus 4. Is that hex 40? That's hex 40. Okay, cool. Um, so let's just calculate these out. This is 128 to 168. This is 3c to 1dc. Uh, Oh man, I love finding structure, you know? It makes me so happy. Structure. Civility. Oh, structure, I love structure. Yeah. Who's asking why? Oh, the why people. Oh, why people, you know? Why people show up and ruin everything. Okay, so if we go to 258 and then we go back one, we get hex 18, which is the thing to go to the end. If we go back to one, we get 3C. And I guess there's probably so before these is always the length. So to predict what we're going to find, if I go there, we're going to find 10 at 3EF. Yes, we do. We find 10. Oh, prediction. When you can predict, you understand. That is science. Yeah, live forever, bros. But you know why live forever? You know, you can't, you can't, just can't ask why too many times. Because why is a stupid question. We have docs. All right, now where the reg count comes from? Oh, that's a deeper question. No, this one. Oh, and like relocks are like, okay, it's like a normal, I know what relocks, it's like normal. There's nothing really weird about the relocks. This F4 is probably the length of the command. Is that right? So, okay, F4, 
plus 2c is 288. 120, yeah, which is just 3c. Where you go? Um, okay, so an unknown person sends me this mask. I don't trust that, 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 that. I don't want any of that stuff near me. What stuff? That, that mask. Why? Freaks me out, man. Look at it. Nope. It's like a BDSM mask of a. I, I, I don't like it. Freaks me out, man. Relax, George. What are you freaking me out for, bro? Okay, the header was to one C. Yeah, that thirty's not right. And then there's some optional shit here. This optional shit. And there was the one C, and then that's that, that. <laughs> Was Elon actually ever here? Did someone just gift him a sub? No, it's not AOC time yet. Elon came through. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess it has to be Sopranos time. I think we made great progress today. I think that we figured out that these things are magic. And if you just parse them, that one's one, that one's one. They tell you everything you need to know. They can parse the whole thing as commands. It's really like, are these just commands to write registers? It's just some like command queue shit, I guess. This is an address and then a length? Address and then a length, address and then a length. Three C. All right, let me just write that parsing quickly. If I 
equals equals 2b. We're going to say that's the first one we highlight. Okay, first highlight equals false, highlight equals true. Um, if highlight colored, we're going to color the highlighted ones yellow. Colored yellow. Why? Do you know where your children are? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm almost done. You know, it's just so close. Look, 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 I got the F4 to be yellow. Look, look, look. Um, okay, let's say next highlight. There's a latte? Does it have latte in it? No, I wish it had latte. Oh. What? Yeah, I think it's time. I got, I gotta go, but but yo, know, it's so addictive, man. It's so addictive, you know. Just give me, give me one more, one more, one more. You know, I just, I just, I'm so close, man. You know, I've never been closer. Oh, it's so close. Oh, if I is less than length of x, oops. Oh yeah, okay. Look, f four lit up, three c lit up, six c lit up. 44 lit up, 0C lit up, 10 lit up, 18 lit up. Boom. It's beautiful. Those are the, those are the command, those are the command addresses. Uh, those are the lengths. Yeah, and I think the thing before it is probably the registers. It just writes them. That's how it goes. All right, guys, I'm happy with that. Big progress, big progress. Highlight the commands. Oh. So you see, like, 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 you look at this thing and you're like, it has no structure. Then you, you keep working at it and you keep working at it and you discover the structure. Look, between the this is a um, this is the, the convolution and this is the reshape command. Uh, and you can see that in this section there's no differences, which is very interesting. Thank you. Have a good night. Git commit. We pushed. We're good.